Okay, test, test, test. All right, I wasn't late for once. That's good. Hello. the link, which I don't always do. Okay, where's my thumbnail folder? I called it Wonder Trade, even though it's actually a surprise. Oh, all right. How's it going, chat? <clears throat> hello, hello, hello. Um, it's not online yet. I thought that what we should do is talk about the team first. This is a team stream. Where is it? Okay, chat. So here's our team. We have Fake Out, Quash, Shadow Sneak, Will O Wisp, Rosalie Berry, Sibli. Um, Fox Play Crunch, Safety Goggles, Tyranitar. I don't remember why I added. This. To be honest, how old are you? 55? 60? Wait, I don't remember why I added this. Anyway, okay, DD, Titar, whatever. Uh, protect Sword Power, Heat Wave, Armor Cannon on the Weak Armor, Weakness Policy, Armor Rouge. Uh, standard Sylveon, Terra Fire, oh yeah, Terra Fire, Terra Dark, Terra Water, Terra Ghost. Terra Flying, Scarf, Raptor with offensive stats. Um, Brave Bird, Close Combat, U-Turn, Final Gambit. And then Swords Dance, Close Combat, Terra Water, Caesar. With the, what's your ability? What's your item? Your ammo. So, it's gonna be challenging, I think. I don't, this one feels like it might be doomed, but hey, we'll have to, all we can do is our best. That's all we can do. How's everybody doing today? We have about, <clears throat> um, we have about 12 minutes until the ladder goes live. So until then, we can just hang out. How, how are y'all doing? You want to talk to me? You want to chat? Any questioners? Overflight was good and this run is quick. Thank you. I haven't been... Yeah, it's been a very busy couple days, but I am back now for a couple days until Friday. Where Turgo Sableye? Um, there was, a, there was a point where I wanted more damage to Shadow Sneak, and it was... I don't know. Like, it's not good much, but it's something... Adam, thanks for joining the channel. Hey, uh, thank you to everyone who's joined the channel. We got some more during the big tournament stream, which I'd love to talk about at some point as well. Um, but yeah, thank you to everyone who's joined. Keep in mind that if you do join the channel, you are able to join the sub discord, which is a really great resource for anyone who is interested in learning more about Pokemon or joining a community that's passionate about Pokemon. Um, if you want help team building, there's people in there to help. Um, if you want to help team building, there's people to help. If you want people just to chat about Pokemon or other stuff, there's really a great community in there. I recommend everybody, um, who is joined, who has joined the channel, whether by joining themselves or being gifted one to join the sub discord player zero. Thank you for joining. And also Micah, thank you for joining. I also post all of my teams in there, um, way before I post them publicly. So if you ever want access to a team of mine, it's most likely in there. This team is currently in there as is the next um the next team which is very interesting which you all don't even know is happening yet but i already have the team built people actually guess the people in the discord know that it exists um no paradox in your team yeah nobody traded me a paradox pokemon so i'm stuck with that one you're such an underrated youtubist thank you very much How's the New York gym, Pokemon gym going? That was a one-day event. The video is doing great, but the, the event is only one day. I don't know why War Thunder still in this chat. Whatever. Mismatch, thank you for joining the channel. Are you going to Orlando? I am. Um, is there a free Discord? No. Where's the link to Discord? Exclamation point Discord to join the Discord. Exclamation point Discord. How do you plan to use Sableye? Willis, Quash, Shadow Sneak, and... What's the last move? Takeout? 
You played any shooters? Not really. I played Fortnite for like three years, but I, my only strategy was to hide in the bushes, and it took me three years to get one win, and then I never played again. Bless me. Oh, right. Control our fake out of the last. All the content has been great lately. Thank you very much. Yeah, did you how, did you all enjoy the the tournament stream? That was a huge project. I'm not gonna lie to you. We were working on that for like a long time. <laughs> Interesting question. To will you wear wigs? You have you asked in the wrong order. Mackley, thank you for joining the channel. Much appreciated. Does Samurai have any competitive viability? Zero because it's not in the game. When does series two drop? Nine minutes. IRL E4 next, sell at Madison Square Garden. I th I'm thinking California for E4, but I haven't decided. There's actually a chance that we do it in Paris. Zane is a beast, I agree. Basically, P44 8 has a store in Paris that they like we might be able to use, but I don't know if Paris is the right location. I did not catch Greninja. I have been very busy. Exclamation win Discord join Discord. What is the best way to grind without sandwiches? Um, grind for what? EVs. Uh, sandwiches are pretty easy. You can just buy a lot of the ones for encounter power at least, and like egg power. Are all Paradox Pokemon viable? Honestly, they might be. I've been saying that the two ones that aren't viable are Iron Jugulus and Iron Thorns, but I actually had to use them for a challenge, which again might happen tomorrow, might happen the next day, might never happen. Depends on how this one goes, honestly. And both of them actually impressed me, so yeah. Are you gonna make a cutdown version of the tourney? Yeah, it's actually pretty difficult. My editor and I are working on it um, at the moment, but it's really hard because there's so much content and like I want it to, the video to be like about an hour probably, but it's uh, difficult to get at that length. So we'll have to do some really big thinking. Are you going to Knoxville? Yeah, uh, I do plan on going to Knoxville. You think back to Collision would be good? I'm not familiar enough with its sandwich uh, stats. Sandy Shocks is good, yeah, actually. I thought it was garbage at first, but um, it's actually not garbage. It's actually good. We're in California, Northern and Southern. We, this is uh, this is just a concept. We, I, I don't know. Full uh, transparency. I don't know how to make the Elite Four uh, work yet. I don't know how we're going to do that. I will say, though, that I won't say anything else. I will not say anything else, but... um. I don't know how to make it work yet, but I will know how to make it work before we do it. So, um, yeah. Is anyone getting herbs and terror rage? Because I haven't. I have not had time to do raids recently, so I'm kind of just relying on what I stockpiled first. Which paradox set do you like more, Scarlet or Violet? I like the Scarlet ones more. I can't say which ones are better. I haven't thought about it. Thoughts Nurse Luna? I think it's going to be great. Who gym here in DC? <laughs> I don't know if we're going to do another gym uh, anytime soon. Um... Is this a real live stream? Yes. Can you sub on mobile? I don't know. Do you think Ooga Booga Amoongus is better than regular? No, but I think it does something differently. What are you doing for a million subs? I haven't decided. Um, I don't think we're going to do a big video or anything. We're all, con honestly, we kind of blew all our big videos trying to get there. <laughs> oh, Hayden, I got to talk to you. I, I might need to interview you for a video if you're down. Um, it should It should only take like a couple minutes. Bring your live events to Hawaii. I think it's not accessible enough for people. Like we want, like if I'm gonna do an event, I want it to be where like people can easily get to it, which is part of the reason we chose New York. Did you do a gym in Canada? Um, I don't really have plans to do more gyms at the moment. It's tough because like the event was awesome, but like I don't know how to make another video on it. You know what I mean? He's not down, bro. And right above him, I'm down for sure. Get actually outplayed. <laughs> I got chat's moving really quickly. Any Blender collabs in the future? In the near future, Agents of Love? I haven't talked to um, Blender in a while, but he's I, I love Blender. He's funny as hell. But no no plans in the short term. My content's also changed a lot since, you know, like it's, I, I'm actually, this is something I'm thinking about a lot at the moment, which is like, one of my best friends in Pokemon, one of my, my, my closest YouTube friend is um PM7, Pokemon7. Um, PM7 plays and like you all probably don't even know that we're close what is in my pocket oh 
And my headphones. I was looking for these. You all probably, like, you all might not know that we're, like, super close friends and we talk, like, for probably, like, at least half an hour a day via voice messages. Season 2 ETA, five minutes. Because, like, I don't know how to, like, I don't know how to have people on my channel. Like, I don't know how to do successful collab videos that aren't, where the, the draw of the collab isn't, like, somebody with, like, a really, somebody very popular and me teaching them Pokemon. Can we give subs? I think so. I mean, I don't know how. Um... Hey Wolfie, studying for an AP Cal test. Uh, I'm not confident. Are you at least confident in your team right now? My team is garbage, but hey, if you're studying for your AP Calc exam, make sure you get uh, sleep. That's important. Like studying is important, but you also like, there's no point, you know, staying up all night if like you're if it, like you're not even going to be accessing the information. Um, my advice to you is to stretch before your exam. It sounds silly. I promise it will help. Make sure you stretch before your exam. Um, yeah. Bulgrin, should be good? No. Why don't you stream on Twitch? Um, I used to stream on Twitch for a while. My viewership is better on YouTube, and I like that, like, I like having everything in one place. You know what I mean? Like, I'm a YouTuber. Not, I'm not really a good, I don't, I'm not really a streamer. I'm a YouTuber, and so, like, when I do stream, I think it makes sense to just have it on YouTube. Why do we have seven content? I could tell... I can tell when he clubs you. I don't fully understand what you're saying, but um, I appreciate it. Thank you. Do you think future rule sets will remove Paradox Pokemon? No, not this year. I think this year it'll be Paradox Pokemon for a bit, and then it will be Paradox Pokemon and Ruin Pokemon. I think that will take us through worlds with my... That's my guess, based on the length of the first series. Ever going to continue the Emerald Kaizo series with Pichao? I beat Emerald Kaizo. I'm done with it. I don't ever have to play that game again. I'm done. What dragon for the team so far? It hasn't started. It's The, the battles start in two minutes. I think Fortan deserves the nerf. I mean, in doubles, it wasn't that big a deal, but I don't I don't think it's a super healthy ability, so I'm, I don't mind that I got nerfed. What's the 1 million sub event? I don't have anything planned at the moment, but I have some... I, I'm like, basically, I don't have any more events planned. The gym and the, um, the tournament were the two big things that I was working on. Um, so now that they're done, I have to think about what's next. You plan to make a video for beginning VGC players? I've made a lot of videos that I think would be helpful. I'll, you can also check out vgcguide.com, which is a full guide to um, everything you need to know. Spent like two years on that. Are you and Ludwig doing a collab soon? No, we're not actually. Ludwig's really busy, in all honesty. Like, I, yeah. And I don't really have, if I'm going to ask him for a collab, I want the idea to be really fire, and I don't have anything in mind at the moment that I think would be like a good use of this time. Um, thank you for the for joining the channel, um, Lucario. I appreciate that. You still run in your free time? I've actually, that's something I want to add back in. I've been very busy. Basically, I'm, I'm flying seven of the next eight weekends. And so it's been really difficult to, um, to do anything that isn't work and travel. Yeah. Um, yeah. Are you going to keep doing collabs with Aaron doing challenge videos? Those videos like super flopped. So not in the short term. When you're doing boxing Pokemon matches? No, uh, time soon. I was going to Japan for the next week. I actually didn't know that. Oh, I have to start mashing. This will be ready soon. When are you plan on doing your next live Pokemon Gym? I don't have any plans for it anytime soon. Did Anthony Padilla ever reach out to you after a tweet? He did not, but I don't think... I didn't... Ex like, I don't even think he's seen it, in all honesty. Yeah, Orla it's Orlando next weekend. Then it's... Um, actually, then I have... Well, that's my one weekend off. So it's Orlando. Then it's my housewarming party, because I just moved. Then it's a wedding. Then it's Knoxville. Then it's a wedding. And then I figure out what's after that. What are your thoughts on terrestrialization? I think it's dope. I think it's the best mechanic we've had so far by a long shot. Are you going to the Portland Regional? It might be a bit far for me. Oh, it should be up now. All right, let's give this a shot, chat. All right, it's back up. So I need to get out of Great Ball Tier 9 and into... Abby, go. Oh, that's, um, oh, this is, oh, the team's from the Invitational. I was like, who are these? But I, it's because my, I haven't used my Switch since the Invitational. All right, so I wonder traded. You know, we'll, we'll let the last, the last person who used my Switch pick the music this time. That seems fair to me. Uh, this is my team from the Invitational. Uh, sorry, no, this is the team that I traded for these Pokemon via wonder trade. So I didn't really have a lot of choice when building my team at all. 
Uh, okay, so we have Iron Hand, Grimmsnarl. I think this is kind of food for this. Okay, I think these two are my default lead. They're super strong. Um, Sylveon looks pretty good here. It's good in the back to It hits a bunch of the Pokemon for super effective damage. I like Sylveon here. Last slot. So I gotta watch out for the Iron for the Vol <laughs> Iron Moth. No, for the Volcarona. So Tyranitar is good into Volcarona and Bex Caliber. It's not so good into Garganacle. Um, I don't think Staraptor is necessary here. This thing is really bad into Iron Hands. What is your Terra type? Why are you Water? I don't remember why I made this Water. Um, oh, Nightbot's doing it automatically. <laughs> That's funny. Scizor is really good here, except for the fact that if I bring Scizor, I might just lose to Volcarona, and I, I can't guarantee that they won't bring Volcarona, but Scizor's so good here otherwise. It's Goggles, Titar. They have Amoongus. This, this is basically... Th I would say this beats like four of the Pokemon here, um, so I'm going to do this. Yeah, so the big change between Series 1 and Series 2, which is what we currently have, is Paradox Pokemon. Why is the music so low? I don't know why my music is so low. Can you all hear the music? Because I really can. Is the music like loud enough? It looks like it's loud enough for you. Okay, I'll just go ahead. It's fine. All right, we're playing against Silver. Grimmsnarl Garganacle. In all honesty, this is probably one of the better leads that we could have had asked for. Um, so what we can do here is we can Shadow Sneak ourselves and stored power the Garganacle, and it should do a lot of damage. And the Garganacle is one of the bigger threats in this team, right? If Garg goes down, we're in much better shape. Music is loud on your end. Okay. You want a perfectly mixed? Okay. If, any, if, some, if other people think it's loud, I'll turn it down. Fake out. Uh-oh. Weak armor. Oh, man. Oh, this isn't good at all. I'm about to do a ton of damage. Oh, that sucks. If they hit me with Salt Cure, I'm just in such bad shape. I didn't know about... <sighs> Shoot, that sucks. They probably thought I was just going for Trick Room, but... Please don't Salt Cure me. Oh, but they hit Sableye. Oh, wow. That's actually really good for me. Um... Okay, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. We're actually kind of chilling. Although I am now minus two defense. The problem here is like... Ah, oh, shoot. Okay. I, I want to switch Sableye out for sure. Um, into Sylveon. And then the question is, do I try and one-shot the Garg? Or do I... I'm going to try... I'm just going to go for... Like, if they just hit me with Gear Break, even at minus two defense, it's not very effective, right? So I shouldn't die. I'm going to go for Sword Power. I could have sucker punch. This is like I miss open team sheet. <laughs> I could have protected. It might have been safer. Light screen. Okay, this is why I went from this play. This is plus two. Uh, this is plus two armor rouge with sword power and a lot of base power. Thanks for all the boost. Ah, that sucks. Okay, I'm dead. That's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I'm losing, but I'm not losing that bad. Um, fake out is higher priority than wide guard. So I can go for fake out hyper voice here, get the boost. What's my best play here? I'm gonna go for this. This lets me go for, um, okay. This is tricky. This is definitely tricky. I don't love this position. Um, we don't know the moves though, so I can go for Hyper Voice and Dragon Dance here. They're just gonna wide guard me, right? I'm gonna Hyper Voice Dragon Dance. It's fine. Attack from Garg. Okay, that means I get the special attack boost. Reflect from Grimstarl. I got my boost and my Dragon Dance for free. That's really good. That means both my Pokemon are now boosted. The problem is, what is in the back? Because, um... Shoot, this is actually kind of tricky. So we're going to go for Hyper Voice here. We block the Protect. Or we block... We don't hit that, which is fine. Uh, There's a little bit less than I thought it was going to. Do you think Terra Blast will kill now? 
There's nowhere I can put the there's nowhere I can put the camera that will be good. Um I've tried it. There's no place where it looks good. Like it's always gonna block something, unfortunately, with the way UI is. Okay, I think I wanna go on the offensive here. That's my instinct. Yeah, I'm gonna go on the offensive here and I'm gonna go for Terra Blast here and Crunch here. I'm not under that much pressure. Should I go for I could go for like, okay, basically the other option here is to go for another Dragon Dance. Now I'm gonna go for, I, I wanna keep my special attack boost in case the last Pokemon is Iron Hand. So I'm gonna go Terra Blasting Crunch. Okay, this is, good. this is gonna be an important turn. I don't know if Terra Blast will kill. Wide Guard, okay, we predicted this. We, we covered for the Wide Guard, so we're not gonna fall for Wide Guard here. I could have hard read this, but if I got it wrong, it would have been hard. And honestly, I want to get rid of the uh, white Garden Apple. The Terra Blast comes out. This should be a lot stronger than the last Hyper Voice, but it may still survive. No, it doesn't. Okay, so now it's three to two. We were down four to three, and now it's um, three to two. So the question is what's in the back is it if it's iron hands we may have a problem like because oh well, even iron hands isn't that okay it's fax caliber interesting and is it a mogus iron hands okay so good news and bad news the good news is that um wait, what's the good news i'm gonna protect with both here i think this is kind of tricky right i need to get rid of the vax caliber I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna flinch him. It's fine. You want me to make the a little smaller? Right here, right? Maybe I can do something about it. Okay, I bring up both Pokemon to try and bait out the Terra. Hey, ooh, Terra Electric. I didn't expect that. In one, oh, hopefully that's better. Terra Electric. What are they doing? Like, not that it's a bad play. I just don't, I like, not, I, that made it sound like I was being judgmental. I'm not being judgmental. I just don't understand what's going on. All right, I'm just going to flinch him with a rock slide. It's fine. Fake out comes out. So is Vax Calibur setting up on me here? Is it just attacking? They fake out a Tyranitar. Okay, Spear. It's probably loaded dice. It's a problem. Ugh, this sucks. Um, I don't know if I can beat the Iron Hands in the long, in the long run because I have Terra Water Tyranitar. Okay, they are slower than Sylveon, which is great. I mean, listen, how many turns are left of everything? Too many, right? Yeah, way too many turns for me to expect to get through this. I just have to go for Hyper Voice, and I just have to play the VGC Classic, which is get the flinch with Rock Slide. <laughs> um, I mean, listen, if, if I do enough damage to Iron Hands, I am plus one Sylveon, but I fear that Icicle Spear is too powerful. Okay, let's see here. Terra Water Tyranitar is great. I could have also just stacked Tyranitar and gone for Crunch and Terra Blast and Terra Fire. That may have been better in all honesty, but whatever. I'm just gonna do the Rock Slide flinch, so it's fine. Rock Slide comes out, I hit both. That's a great start. Okay, that's good damage. Can I get the flinch? Oh my god, they got so lucky. What the heck? If Sylveon dies here, oh wait, it's super dead. That crit actually might steal it for me because if Sylveon goes down, I can't beat Iron Hands. Oh wait, I should. Oh wait, I'm living, I'm living, I'm living, I'm living. I'm living. Fine. They got five hits and a crit. I can't believe that. I actually can't believe that. That's kind of wild. Okay, big damage though. Hang on, this might not be over. I got the flinch. Sand end. Oh, that sand. Ah, oh, that sucks. This hit the uh, the crit is what dooms me here. I'd be fine otherwise. Now the question is. Wait, hang on. I can do this. Cause I have fake out still, right? And I have Fagot and I have will o -Wisp. Okay, so there's probably a way to win this, right? I could fake out Iron Hands and Crunch. Do I think that will KO? Yeah. Trust. Um, no, I don't. Do I think Crunch kills at plus one versus in Reflect? Okay, no protect. Fago comes out. It's probably a load of dice, so it's probably not covert clutch. Okay, I okay, I messed up. I didn't know my calc. Okay, Vex Calibre goes down though. 
And I don't think, like, if it thunder punches me. <sighs> if it wild charges, I think I'll live. Okay, it's thunder punch, though. I live? Okay, sand is down. That's actually a really good time for it. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go will o -Wisp and protect. Because if I hit this will o -Wisp, I should be in really good shape. They've already terrored. The protect comes out. Let's see. will o -Wisp, please connect. Next. Huge. That passive damage is going to be a big deal. They shouldn't be able to get any recovery this turn because I protected. We've seen protect, drain punch, thunder punch. We've seen protect, thunder punch, uh... Sorry, we seen fake out thunder punch now drain punch. So now, um, I think shadow sneak plus crunch will do it. Shadow sneak comes out. This can do like nothing. Watch this. <laughs> uh, this won't KO, but it will get closer. Okay, I don't think that it's. I don't think I'll go to. Uh, will I even die to this? No, I won't. Okay, then that should do it. That should really do it. Okay, Iron Hands heals up a little bit, but it's not enough. Takes the burn damage. Light screen's gone. That means there's only one turn left to reflect, but it shouldn't matter. Shadow's Sneak and Crunch. Alrighty. Not so bad. And we won. Hey, that was actually, that was pretty good. Because the, the early game, I would say, didn't go super well. Like with Garganak, like Armourish didn't get the KO. And then, yeah, like the first, the first early, uh, first turns of that were pretty rough. But... Yes, the setup mons were actually pretty good. And hey, Sableye was actually really good. Getting the fake out, getting the burn. Ugh, not bad. So let's see here. We're trying to climb to Master Ball and then get to rank one from there. We're already in Ultra Ball, which is great. I Can I drop out of Ultra Ball? Is it possible? That was a good start, honestly. That was a really good start. Rafa rank 10. Okay, so somebody else is already here as well. Okay, it's a rain team, which means Tyranitar is actually pretty good. Sable looks really good here. Um, Tyranitar looks really good. The Dreadnought is really scary. Um, I don't really know what to make of this, in all honesty. I don't have a single water. Oh, I don't know. I made T-Tar Terra water because I don't have a water resist on this team. Probably the same with Scizor. Um, Staraptor like really is tempting to me is the truth because it's Intimidate, it's a really strong uh, attacker, but I think I want to do Sylveon in all honesty. Desi plays, thanks for joining the channel. Tyranitar and I mean, I could bring Staraptor here. It's a fast flying type and if I can get the speed of the weather control, it's good. Scizor also, also is a case, especially with Swords Dance, but I have Steel is resisted by one, two, three, four of the Pokemon. I'm going to do Staraptor, I think. How fast is my armor is though? Super slow. Not fast than the Dreadnought. Okay, in that case, I'm gonna do this. And the plan is open up with Staraptor early, get a special attack boost. Um, don't forget to like the stream, by the way, if you're if you're just chilling. It helps out the the, the vod later. Okay, this is kind of tricky because I don't have any resistances to um water. <laughs> Lucario Slowking. So to me. This looks like Trick Room stuff. So I'm going to quash the Lucario. This looks like Trick Room Final Gambit, and then you get Claws there in. So I'm going to quash the Lucario and go for a Hyper Voice, I think. Having Quash here is actually a pretty big deal. Yeah, I'm going to quash and go for Hyper Voice. I could also protect Willowis, but I'm pretty sure that this is Trick Room Final Gambit. Like, this lead normally means Trick Room Final Gambit, which probably means that it's Glade Claws are in the back. Ah, maybe I should... I don't really want Sylveon to take damage, though. Maybe I should put it on something else. I don't know. Let's see. Quash comes out. Having Quash here is a really big deal. I just wanted the... I wanted the boost immediately. Oh, no. If it's Final Gambit, I made a big mistake. What? <gasps> Mirror Herb. Oh, no. Oh, wow, wow. Wait, what is going on? Wait, what the heck is going on? I was so wrong. Oh, now I just lose. Oh, man, that's not good. Okay. Um. Shoot. 
I over predicted. That's my bad. Um. Oh, that sucks. I really just protected Will Wisp. It would have been fine. Because Sylveon's kind of my ace here as the pro. Oh, I forgot. Okay, well, that's not helpful. Back from Sylveon. Should be Meteor Mash again. BP. Okay, that's fine. Really, this is Yawn. If it's like Ice Beam, I'm in trouble. If it's Trick Room, I'm also in trouble. Hydro Pump. Oh, it's so over. It's so doomed. All righty, chat. This is going extraordinarily badly. I actually straight up don't see a way to win this. <laughs> um, I think this one might be bad. This is, I think this one might be over. I can do this. I have to do this. This low is popping off. They can Terra, they can do so many things. The turn one just went so badly for me and I was just, I got so tunneled on Final Gambit Trick Room. But that's okay, this felt like a mistake on my part and that's why I lost, I mean, this was clearly a mistake on my part and that's why I lost. A bullet punch. I almost Terra fired here. Like that's, that was my bad. I could have Terra fired and it would have made things way easier for me. This should KO though, I think. Like Terra Fire, I, I probably needed to make the hard read that they were gonna make the same play again. Go for Terra Fire, uh, uh, Terra Blast and Crunch and pick up both KOs and still be alive. Now I'm, I just have no way through this Lucario is the problem. Sableye's back out. I mean, listen, is good to have here. Quash is really nice. Helper comes in. Wow, wow. Okay, I mean, I'm Terra Water in the Rain. I'm going to go for Dragon Dance here, and I think will Wisp. Like, the only way I win this is with some crazy Rock Slide plays, right? I hit will Wisp. That's really good. Mirror Herb's smoke is really not enough. Hydro Pump connects. Save Light. Tanks it, but he's not gonna take another. Okay, drain punch. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Doable, 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 doable. I wish I could flinch. I wish I could flinch these Pokemon. <laughs> DD comes out. Okay. Uh, is there any world in which I win this? I think the answer is no, right? Because wait, if Pelipper's faster than Lucario, this may be Scarf Pelipper. This could be Scarf Pelipper actually. So I can go for Rock Slide and Wash. Maybe, maybe I should just crunch Luke. Maybe I should have Dragon Dance again, actually. I'm going to call that a Scarf Pelipper. Squash comes out, so it can't move next. This also means they're going for probably Meteor Mash. I go for Rock Slide, so this should kill if it's Scarf. Okay. I'm so close. I mean, where there's a Rock Slide, there is a way, right? That's what that's what they say. I can't flinch. It's in their focus, but I could miss Meteor Mash to connect. That's probably the end of Sableye, unfortunately. The question is, what's the last Pokemon? Because if the last Pokemon is like Glade, it doesn't have very good bulk, right? If it's Clotzer, it's Dreadnought. Okay. I mean, it's Scarf Pelipper, which means there's a limited number of turns left in the rain, right? There's two turns left in the rain. Lucario's kind of worthless, in my opinion. It's not really doing anything here. So if I go Protect for a turn, I go Protect, that's two turns. I attack, that's one turn. I Protect, that's zero turns. Then I get to go for place from there. Oh, they boomed me. Oh my God, what a play. I had, okay, I, I didn't, I honestly didn't even know this thing got Shell Smash in all honesty. So I think that's probably gonna do it, unfortunately. But I, I don't think I read the wrong play. Almost every Dreadnought doesn't have Shell Smash. This is just, uh, they just player with me, honestly. Meteor Mash, okay. Okay, so I mean, I'm not, I think I'll take a hit from Dreadnought, although I don't know what its moveset is. If it's, if it, like, if it's, oh, like, the thing is I resist water, right? So, 
if it's using a rock move there's no such thing as an accurate rock move in this game <laughs> and they hit stone edge they hit hydro pump and stone edge okay you know what that's okay they hit stone edge i missed rock slide that's unfortunate i'll say it oh i thought if they missed stone edge i actually could have won this they hit meteor mash meteor mash hydro pump stone edge if they miss stone edge there i win which is kind of wild but hey that's actually not such a bad loss right i mean i got really boom turn one and, and i still almost uh won this so yeah okay uh, i don't feel bad about that i don't feel bad about that ah that was very winnable that was super winnable if they miss either meteor mash i'm in a really or a hydro pump and stabilize survives unless we burn them i'm in such a good shit, like a spot there so i actually am really proud of almost bringing that one back but that's fine i actually think this is like so far i mean i've only i won a game with the team and then i lost the game to my own bad play Which is fine. Uh oh. <laughs> I'm gonna lose to Mono Ghost. Um the Tyranitar is good here, obviously. I have some ideas. So I mean Tyranitar is good, Sableye is good, Armor is good, Sylveon's good, Staraptor's good. I like Sableye a lot here. Um, Tyranitar and Sylveon. Optional Terra option. There you go, Sable. Sable's not super good. Also, having a Ghost Immune is kind of nice. Um, I mean, I could Brave Bird. I can only Brave Bird some of these Pokemon, though, right? Sylveon hits like half this team for super effective. I'm going to do Sylveon. This person's team is actually pretty scary for me. <laughs> I have Terra Dark Armor Rouge, but if I go for Terra Dark, I can't go for um, certain plays. I think it's funny that there are seven ghost Pokemon represented here because they don't have Sableye. <laughs> Yeah, I'm, this is probably going to be a loss, but we'll give it our best shot. Okay, they send out. Okay, Flutter main. I'm going to go for Shadow Sneak and Heat Wave here. It gives me the opportunity to just be in really good shape right away. Like, this won't kill Fluttermane, but if I kill the, um... Goldango. If I kill the Goldango, I'm gonna get shaved. Oh, man, that's not ideal. Oh, that sucks. No, oh, Karmadura, why? I mean, I need, if I hit the attack here, I'm at least in decent shape. Um... Yeah. I almost Protect and Shadow Snuck, but actually, Protect and Shadow Sneak was better here, because even if Sableye goes down... Don't miss, don't miss, don't miss, don't miss, don't miss, don't miss. Then I can go to Sylveon and go over Terra Dark and uh, attack. Live. Oh, Gleam! Oh, I'm big chilling! I'm actually Omega chilling. Wait, that's actually so good. Um, I'll Shadow Sneak here and Armor Cannon here. If they Terra, they Terra, they still can't KO me, right? Sneak comes out. That's why I don't have to risk Heat Wave misses. Armor Cannon's going to lower my defenses further, but it's fine. There's no way they live this. It's plus two. Nice. Okay, up four to two. That's a huge advantage, especially with uh, my positioning. Golden Go goes down. Two Mons left. Let's see what they are. Probably Dragapult and Annihilate are my guesses. They have Sableye? Huh? Hey, Annihilate, that's great. I can burn this with will o -Wisp and protect the cover for Fake Out. And then next turn, I can take advantage of the fact that, um... Let's see here. 
to go for taunt. Okay. I get the Willow's Buff. That's amazing. That's really bad for them. Shadow Claw. Okay. And now I'm in an amazing position. But I can make it even better. So what I can do here is I can go for Quash. Just in case they're like Scarf. And I can use Terra Dark to ensure that Sableye can't do anything to me. GG. Okay. Nice. Super nice. Really good win. I feel like that battle was quick. Kind of makes up for the loss. So we can just jump right back in. Why would you taunt armors there? I mean, they probably didn't have anything better to do. In all honesty, it was kind of... It was probably doomed from there. Okay. Nice. Back to where we were before. Your honor. <laughs> okay. Let's see here. Oh, no. They have Farigaraf and Iron Tread. Okay. Farigaraf is a problem because my team is half priority. Full priority, priority, priority. Okay. So the goal should be to kill um, the threatening boat. I don't really want to bring Sableye here, right? And they have... Okay. I'm going to do this with this and this. I'm probably going to have to... Terra, right? I need, I need, um, I can't bring Sableye here, right? Oh, they have Bundle. Oh, I just saw they had Bundle. Okay. I mean, really my goal is to kill the Ferrigarath as soon as possible, right? Okay. Scissor's good into, I'm going to have to Terra my uh, other guys. So I'm going to bring Scissor here. With the hope, because I want to bring Tyranitar because I really like Tyranitar, but in all honesty, like, I kind of need Scissor, I think. Because, like, if I'm if I'm probably tearing Armorers, then I need to use Scissor to beat the Iron Hand. Because, like, I, I might need to tear it to get past the um, Iron Treads uh, and the Iron Hand with Tyranitar with no burn and, like, I just can't afford to bring um, the thing. This is a legit team, are you? Well, don't tell me things about the opponent. They're good. I was worried about this. Okay. If they have fake out, they're probably going for fake out here. Uh, if they don't have fake out. I mean, I could just go for armor cannon hyper voice, right? There's nothing stopping this per se. Gets me a boost right away. Do I really want to give them both screens? Not really, right? The Iron Hands is the most threatening Pokemon. I'll do this. E Wave might have been better than all over the defenses. little worried with how long they're taking i just don't know if they have fake out right and i don't want to protect with both in case it's just a free life screen so i'm gonna attack with both instead i maybe should heat wave it's just such a weak move the question is what do they have in the back this is probably av iron hand which means my attack gonna do nothing to it in light screen they do a fake out okay this is a good play in my opinion okay <laughs> all right Nice play, nice double fake out. Should just protect with both. Now I can do something really cool. So normally Sylveon would not be able to activate Armor Rouge's weakness policy, right? Because it doesn't have a super effective attack to hit it with. But this isn't a normal game. Because basically, by using Terrestrialization, I can turn into the Dark type, which does a couple things for me. Number one, it makes me Prankster immune. Really, really happy about that. Love to be Prankster immune, right? The other thing, though, is that uh, it allows me to be weak to Fairy. And even though Sylveon normally can't hit Armor Rouge for super effective damage, Thanks to Terra Dark, that's no longer the case. So with Terra Dark, I'm now, instead of resisting Fairy, weak to Fairy. And the Fago from the turn before actually ends up helping me because now I have two more stacks on my Sword Power. Unless they Terra, in which case, oh. I just think go Steel. How do they know? 
fire. Okay, I mean, it makes sense regardless. That was a good fight. Uh, this is probably on Hari. I'm going to problem. Uh, this is bad. Quick attack comes out. It's going to do some damage. Lots of damage. This is a powerful sword power, but with uh, hyper voice, I just don't. Or with um, light screen, I just don't think it's going to do enough. This is plus two special attack. Uh, what are they doing with Grim Snarl? <laughs> this should still do a lot. Oh, critical hit! Oh my god! That wasn't a crit! Oh my god. Oh my god. I did not expect that to do 40% in all honesty. And it one shot. Um, well, I'm not complaining. I mean, basically, sword power is a uh, 60, 100, 180 base power attack, I want to say. How strong is it? Uh, 180 base power attack at plus two, but even. Yeah, God. Um, I don't want Trick Room to go up. I, I can go for, I'm going to go for Armor Cannon and Hyper Voice because I think if Trigger Off goes down, I'm probably in a good shape. I'm probably in good shape. And if they protect, I still get a boost. And then they can't hit me with prankster moves because I'm because I'm dark. I could have gone for heat wave here, but if I miss and like if things get Vergraf could survive, so I'm just gonna go for armor cannon. It's my strongest attack in this scenario because it's 120 base star versus 90. That is not enough damage. That actually is really bad. I did not consider what would happen if Oh my god, that's really not enough damage. Okay. That's okay, they shouldn't have a way through Caesar. Okay. Ugh. I mean I'm glad I got the damage of the Grim Snarl, that's good, but. Sylveon's still pretty healthy as well. Okay, it's fine. Is this Trick Room? Spirit Break comes out into Sylveon. Wait, I'm actually in trouble. That did a ton of damage. Oh, Miracope, but they hit Sylveon. I didn't do enough damage, so it didn't do anything. <laughs> okay, I'll go Heat Wave Hyper Voice here. Let's go. Um, This was a mistake. Armor Cannon was better here, but it's fine. As long as I hit Fergraph, it doesn't matter. I was just worried about Trick Room because there's no priority and yeah. Okay, that's fine. Okay, th th with this move, I am always in good shape in all honesty. Protect, Mirror Coat. Heat Wave comes out. This should... Uh... Okay, it's fine. Grimstone could not learn wide guard. No, but that's why I made this play. Okay, I'm up four to two, but Fergraf is still a problem, especially with Star Scarf Strafter on the back and both my front Pokemon being low HP. Oh, Iron Bundle. Oh no, wait, how fast is Armor Rouge? It's three times? It's fast, it's faster. It's three times, right? Plus four is three X. Um. Should I gamble on Heat Wave? Should I go for Sword Power? Should I go for Armor? I'm going to go Sword Power and Aeroblast. Now, if I've done my math wrong, then I could be in some trouble. But I believe. I believe I've done my math correctly. Scissor should clean this up. Scissor really should clean this up. Okay, I was right. My math was correct. And so actually what's funny here is that turn one fake out actually ends up doing me a lot of good because it boosts my power with um stored power and it ends up making me plus two faster what the? okay that's fine then it would otherwise um and because of that i'm able to outspeed iron bundle even though it has the booster energy I wanted a little hyper wisdom though. It's fine. I've got a uh, guaranteed game. Oh, I love the way Scissor looks in this game. Scissor looks so good in this game. Not gonna lie. We can go for close combat. And Brave Bird. I should probably just do whatever's fast animation was. 
GG. Terra Blast is affected by Pixelate, which is uh, why I was surprised that it did zero damage. <laughs> yeah. This is a team I got from Surprise Trade. So all of these Pokemon I did not choose. It's part of the reason I have zero Paradox Pokemon. But um, we're making it work so far. We're three and one, I want to say, which is not bad. Pretty decent win rate. Okay. Okay, so I got probably three more until Master Ball, maybe two. What controller do I use? This is just a GameCube controller. It's my melee controller. If you want to know my stable IV spread, it's somewhere in the Discord. I can post it after the stream as well. Lalo. Okay. What that means. Ah, oh, this does not look good. They've got the mice. Someone's got to unlace these mice. I, I don't know what to tell you. Somebody really has got to unlace these mice. Oh, God. Okay, they've got the moon. Okay, I don't have anything for Gastrodon at all. Um, I'm going to do one, two here. Tyranitar is really good into a lot of these Pokemon, and the ones that it's not good into, Sylveon's not bad into. Scissor's not... No, Scissor's not good here. Sylveon's good into a bunch of these Pokemon. I'm going to bring Sylveon. This is going to be difficult. This is going to be really hard. This is going to be really difficult. Okay, basically, I'm expecting Mousehold Annihilate lead. And now I have a choice to make. I can go fake out Armor Cannon. I can go... I have a lot of choices here. I've got Will-O-Wisp available. I don't want to do this. I want to fake out the Mousehold, but a lot of them run um, Terra Ghost. But I think I'll do it anyway. I can fake out Armor Cannon into the Annihilate. Seems pretty good. They got Armor Cannon and Annihilate. They're probably not Terra Ghost. They're probably not gonna be Terra Ghost, right? They're, they're probably not gonna go for Terra Ghost, right? I can, I can just fake out Armor Cannon into the mouth. My, whatever. What's up, Gio? Yeah, I'm going to Orlando. Hope to see you there, buddy. I can just fake out. Fake out. Fake out. Ah, I'm really... I wish they'd locked in their move already. Why are they taking so long? Is it fire or is it ghost? It's fire. They boomed me. <laughs> Just a wee less of. I don't blame them though. They might have expected Willis. Oh, hang on. Sneaky, sneaky. Sneaky, sneaky. Okay. Is this going to kill? I feel like this should kill, right? This is a super high base power move. Like, super, super, super high base power. It is through friend guard, though. That's the only reason I'm worried. Sword power comes out. They didn't see this coming. Is it going to kill? I got the crit. I don't think it mattered. 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 It's, a, it's like a 140 base power move that's super effective. Brahma Luna. Oh, they got Brahma Luna? Oi. Roaring Moon. Oh, okay. I actually don't have an answer. Wait, what kind of boost is it? Speed. Why is it speed? Um. They've already terrored, so Sylvia can actually just clean this up later. You know what I could do, actually? It's like, I could actually Shadow Sneak again. I'm not gonna die. And stored power into the mites, right? And just try and take the kill there. Keep my tear open. Yeah, just try and trade here. The problem is that with Ro Oh, right. They can do that. Ah, booster energy speed. I could have terrored. I could have terrored. Okay, it's my fault. I was given those beans. 
Okay, I go Sylveon now. Sylveon's in really good shape here. Because who's in the back? Um, who, who do they have in the back to deal with this? Not really anything, right? So I can just go will o -Wisp here in case of, like, I don't know. I can go will o -Wisp and um, Hyper Voice here in case of Population Bomb. Romaluna switches, but nothing really wants to switch in here. Like, Arcanine's the best bet. Okay, it is Arcanine. So basically here, the plan is to get some boost with Trenitar, which is actually kind of hard, right? Because Sableye's kind of worthless now. Protect from Mouse, okay. I get the boost though, which is nice. Um, Protect, follow me, beat up. I just don't know what the last move is. It could be Encore, it could be, it could be a lot of things, right? Uh, Tyranitar really should just solo here, in all honesty. I can go for Willowist from Protect here. I'm not really under any danger. Like, Teeter should solo. I just need to make sure I don't accidentally get messed up. Like, this is going to take a little bit, but I, I should have a really good position to win. Follow me comes out. Okay. I, I'm really just worried about Encore, right? Get the Willowist off. It's great. I think they're probably just snarling, right? But it's not like they can do any damage. I was just worried about Population Bomb. Maybe it's dumb. Just go for Snarl. That's fine. I need this Mice to go down. Honestly, it might be worth... Like, okay, here I either go Quash, Hyper Voice. It might be worth saving Sylveon, just getting some more chip damage in, you know? Because once Mice goes down, Sylveon just kind of solos, right? Or, I mean, Teeter also kind of solos. I want the Mouse gone. I'm going to Quash the Mice and Terra Blast the Mice. I'll lose a special attack boost, sure, but I don't want to get on board. Shane, thank you for joining. Much appreciated. They miss? Sylveon, Sylveon, Sylveon. Yeah, baby! That's what I'm talking about! Woo! That's really good because this just saves me time and my because I'm trying to get there as fast as possible. Huge damage. Yep, they go for Encore into Sableye. Oh, interesting. Not into the Sylveon. Oh, and thank you for joining. Much appreciated. Um, and here I can just switch, right? And protect. I can die to, uh, we might have goggles, but that's actually also fine. They have no item on the, on the, um, guy. The thing is, missing the Snarl there doesn't change the outcome. All it does is make it faster for me to win. Sandstream going up is great for me. Happy to have Sandstream up. They protect the mice. I did this because I thought that sand plus burn would kill. And if they're, if they are, um, what's it called? If they're safety goggles, those quick attack and kill them. They over flare blitz trying to get some damage down, which is great, which is why I protected. Damage. Okay, they are goggles. That's interesting. Do not go down here. Um, I'm gonna go for quick, uh, Dragon Dance and quick attack here. I don't really need to Dragon Dance. I could just Rock Slide. I'll Dragon Dance and quick attack. I could just Rock Slide, right? If I hit the Rock Slide, I'm in really good shape. Hey, okay, I take out Mice. And then, is this will o -Wisp or is it something else? Fire Blitz. Blitz comes out. I could have Dragon Dance. I need to make sure Sylveon stays alive. Because if Sylveon goes down, I could lose. Nice damage. It's just very good. Activate. Fine. And. And.
This is just taking a while is the problem. Like, I should always win this. In all honesty. I think switch Sableye, protect. Take out Hyper Voice. We know it's Citrus Berry, so it's not Covert Cloak. The odds of them predicting this are very low. Like, like they, they we know their moves, they're not gonna flare blitz Serenitar. They protect Arcanine, actually. Interesting. They don't predict Roaring Moon. Okay, that was an interesting play. They probably predicted Tilby to protect the way I've been playing. You were breaking swipe, actually, trying to load Serenitar's attack. I mean, it makes sense. It's a good play, actually. This was actually a fair bit of damage. So this is actually a set that I saw online used by a very um good Chinese tilt Chinese team builder. Where it was Jawlock, Rocky Helmet, Roost, and Breaking Swipe. And it was like an anti-physical attacking Pokemon. Where like, you would lock them in and prevent them from switching. And then you would, um... Then you would, um... Yep, Protect, Breaking Swipe, Jawlock. Last move was probably Roost. You would basically lock them with Draw Lock and then lower their attack with Breaking Swipe and Intimidate and Willowist and just like basically make them useless. Nice. Huge damage. Huge damage. That should be game. Because we know their moves, they really shouldn't be able to do anything to stop Sylveon at this point because of Quash. Although that one was, wait, it's not Rocky Helmet, this is Booster Energy. I'm actually not sure. Anyway, Quash here is really clutch because I can go for Quash and Hyper Voice. And now Sylveon's threatening a KO on both Pokemon. Oh my god, look at its tail. It's kind of undulating. Wait, any undulators in the chat? I actually, Sable has been pretty clutch here. Even in a matchup where it couldn't really do much to these two Pokemon, Fake Up List Quash is actually still pretty good. Quash comes out. Now Arcanine is moving after Sylveon. Acrobatics. Oh, it doesn't have Roost. And that's game. Nice. Super nice. Calm raid. Thank you for the raid. Not, not entirely sure. I wish you gave me a notification or something. But yeah, thank you. Thank you very much for, for raiding. Much appreciated. Okay, cool. Not bad at all. Really good turn one from us there. It was not a safe play, but I think it was like a, um, I think it was a good call, like a good high risk, high reward play. Probably one or two more to get us into Master Ball. One more, one more win will get us into Master Ball and then we'll see how close we are. Okay. Real MVP, I think, has been the first four Pokemon. Though the other two have been good, too. I just haven't used them as much, but they've they still been good. Okay, let's see here. This is a really legit team, and it kind of ruins mine. Um, They have Ndidi Armor Rouge. They've got Iron Bungle. Table is worthless here, right? But I, I feel like I still... Oh, my God. Wait, they have Great Tusk. Shoot. Okay. Um, I... Feel like I'm drowning in an ocean. So just, wait, let me take a step back here. The Raptor has to come for sure, right? Scissors actually, Terra Water Scissors is actually pretty good in all honesty. It's just really bad into what is probably Willowist Talon Flame, right? Teetar has to come, Staraptor has to come. The other Pokemon are a bit up in the air. Sylveon's actually pretty decent here, in all honesty. We could do this. What's the last Mon, though? I mean, Scissor's pretty worthless if they get Psychic Terrain up, right? I could bring Armourage in the back. I mean, it's not a good Pokemon to have. 
it's not Sableye here, right? So Armourouge is actually pretty decent to the... I'm going to bring Armourouge here and I'm just going to plan it, play it as like a weak armor plus... Like I'm not going to plan on activating the weakness policy, but I will plan on just being annoying with it. Okay, this is the hardest matchup we've had so far, I think. The thing is, they can only bring four Pokemon. Armor... Ar ar oh. Let's see if it's booster energy or not. Intimidate activates first. What activates next? Booster. It's fine. Okay, it's fine. Um... We'll go Hyper Voice and switch to... I guess we should T-Tar and Protect. They didn't bring... They didn't lead anything. They can, they're probably going to go for, like... What are they doing here? I'll Hyper Voice and Protect. Or switch to T-Tar. Like, if I get damage down, it's probably in my best interest, right? They're probably not going for Trick Room here. Not with uh, Iron Bundle to play. They got me. They they have my strategy. I didn't even think about this. It's the weak armor, weakness policy stuff, and they just absolutely got me. Oh my god. <laughs> they actually just got me. Oh my god, they got me so good. They hit me with my strategy. I should have just protected. I am not living this. Well, oh wait, expanding force. Yeah, I'm not living this. Shoot. Ah, oh, that's not good. Goodbye, my beloved Sylveon. I can see the force. I should have just protected. I, I would have been so good if I predicted. Sylveon doesn't live this. Sylveon lives this. And the damage is nice, I'm not gonna lie to you. The damage is super nice. Because Tyranitar should live a, an attack here, right? Do I take a hit? I think I might take a turn of sand. No, I think I sh wait 12 times 16. I I exactly die because I even exactly wrong for this. <laughs> I needed two HP points less and then I would have died anyway. So I, whatever. Okay, Sylveon still survived though, which is great. I'm going to go into Karmadura. Now I have to make a choice basically, which is do I think that what do I think they're going to do here? Do I think they have like energy ball or aura sphere or something? You know? I should have dragon danced. I should have dragon danced. Okay, they just wanted me to knock them out. I should have Dragon Dance. Oh. Dragon Dance here would have been so good. Okay, it's fine. We're 3-3, three, three, but they're definitely at the advantage. I don't think they have... They have Protect. They have Expanding Force. They've got to have Armor Cannon. I don't think they have a move to hit me. I'm going to say it. Let's see who comes in next. Is it a Boma? Is it Great Tusk? Is it Average Tusk? Great. On to bring in here. The last Pokemon are... Oh, I have a Wing Condition, actually. Okay, wait. I see a way forward. Great Tusk isn't that bulky. If I Dragon Dance, I would have probably just insta one. Um, I need to get rid of this armor problem. Doesn't do enough for me. Like, it's probably not gonna kill, right?
point either. I have to go for it. I think what I was supposed to do here is protect Terra Dark Armor Cannon, but I don't think I can ever beat the armor. I needed to Dragon Edge, basically. Or I need to, like, the problem is that this thing is also fighting type, right? Where, like, if they go for Expanding Force here, I'm basically counting on them going for, like, Heat Wave or, um, yeah, something along, like, Heat Wave or, I don't know, something, like, basically, right? I need GDR to survive, but if they just go for if they go for close combat and expanding force, I just want to lose. They go for protect. Oh my god, they got me again. Oh, they they got me. I Titar, do you live this? They got me. I mean, listen, it was a. I needed to dragon dance. I needed to get gutsy, and I needed to dragon dance, and that that's what really boomed me here. Um, yeah, I, I don't know. I just didn't see it coming. It's fine. Ah, oh, that sucks though. It's okay. I don't think I had a better play there. Like, like my other play was Protect and Terra Dark Armor Cannon, and that also lost me the game. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I needed to Dragon Dance. Like, I, I I got spooked by, like, Energy Ball or a Spear, like, something like that. But, like, I should have known that they weren't going to let me just attack the Armor, the Iron, the Armor Rouge. <clears throat> but I knew that team was going to be tough, and they really surprised me turn one, and I basically lost them on for no reason and did no damage, so... Yeah, something like Protect and Switch Turn 1 would have been really good. Um, yeah. I feel like I made every play wrong there, so I can't really be upset about losing. So it's probably two... It's not a stream sniper, guys. Come on. Probably two more wins from... Yeah, two more wins will get me into Master Ball. And then we'll have to win a couple more there. But the team feels surprisingly solid, you know? We're four and two, which isn't great, but isn't awful. This is a nightmare matchup. Oh my God. Okay. So they have King Gambit, which is a problem. My plan basically should just be overwhelmed with, um, oh, they have Rigoraf too. Titar is not good here. Um, Seraptor is pretty good. Oh wait, no. Seraptor's not even that good. Scizor isn't that, wait, all my mons are bad. Titar good into Amoongus, Rigoraf, Serilege, um, other dude. We're pretty bad into these two, so I guess the play is use standard four. Scissor's actually not bad here. The thing is, if they just lead Furgraph Iron Hands, I'm in really bad shape, right? Yeah, I, I think if they just lead Freer off Iron Hands, this is going to be really difficult. I need them to lead something else. It's over. I can't beat this. Um... Because I can't use, I can't really do anything here is the problem. I need to go T-Tar and I'll just double out here actually. Oh wait, I switched the wrong order. Shoot, okay, that's fine. <sighs> this is really rough. I need to find a way through Trick Room basically. I need to find a way through this stupid Furry Graph. Fake out. Sylveon. I, this is why I switched wrong. I should have been trying to that. Trigger goes up. Okay. Yeah. I got a stall Trick Room. I got a stall Trick Room and then win with um, Armor Rouge in the end. Oh, it's all going so wrong. This is probably King Gambit or Among Us, both of which are really bad. It's Among Us, it's doomed. Okay, Terra, not bad. I see the vision, trust, Terra Steel. Oh, interesting. That means if I hit it with Heat Wave. Okay, I have to somehow get through Trick Room. <laughs> 
Like they're both worthless. It's so doomed. <laughs> it's so doomed. What? what is go they hard read me. I can't do anything. It's so doomed. Okay. Turns the Dragon left are three still. Two. A thunder punch. Okay, they hard read me every turn. Yeah. Uh, this one might be doomed. <laughs> if they spore me here, I think it's actually over. Yeah, it's over. I, I led badly here. Like... There was not really much I could do against this team in the first place, and I definitely didn't like lead correctly. Okay. Okay. One turn sugar left. Doable question mark? Probably not, because I don't taunt the problem. Without taunt, this is very difficult. I now know I'm not goggles as well. Um four oh, Lewis here and then switch to Terenitar. The problem is well there's a lot of problems. The pro the thing the thing that's frustrating is if I gotta if I could just set like get into position with armors next to Sable, even if I lose all my other mons. It might be winnable. Oh, I've got the wake up. Hold on. I hit the burn. Hold on. Wait, hang on. This isn't doable, right? Thunder punch. Guitar. Survive. Pollen puff. Guitar. Survive. Hold on. There's no way, right? What if they go for Spore? What if they go for Spore plus, plus like, Drain Punch or something, right? Trick Room is up. What if I go for Shadow Sneak into Titar and switch to Karmadura? Because they're not going to Spore to Renatar here, right? They've already Terrad. So, if my, in my opinion, the obvious play is Spore the Sableye and Drain Punch the Tyranitar, right? And if they do that, like that I think is their best play without knowing my stats, right? Sporing Tyranitar would be, they don't know if I have Taunt either is the other thing. So they might they might be like, oh, I don't want Amoongus to get Taunted. They might go to Vrigarath to try and get Trigger up again. I think both those plays are like feasible ones. Why would they go for Rage Powder? That sucks. I guess it's okay though, right? Rocky Helmet. Boy. Green Punch. Okay, that's fine. A. Weak Armor. No weakness policy, though. Yeah, they probably got me here in the sense that, like, I can't really stop them from Rage Powdering, so they actually got me. I have to go for this. Um, I don't think it will work. Paragraph Sableye would have been really clutch in this specific instance, but for head, yeah, they just go for Rage Powder again. The thing is, I don't even think that um Shadow Sneak plus Heat Wave will kill here. I don't, yeah, I don't think Heat Wave will kill either Mon. Doing no damage to Sableye. Heat Wave connects on both. I got the Among Us, which is great. Thunder Punch is going to kill me, though. Citrus Berry. Oh my god. This fuck. Ah! T 
He charges too much damage. And I don't think I can KO Frigoref anyway. I would need like a double flinch here. Oh, stupid Amogus. I, I should have Taunt. If I had Taunt, this would have been so much easier, but I don't really have room for Taunt. It would have to be over Fake Out, I don't think. In general, I'm okay into Amogus. It's just this is a combination of Pokemon. Gambit. Oh, interesting. Well, now I, I definitely don't win this. I'm just going to forfeit. I don't win this. Yeah, this is a horrible matchup, and it went super badly. Like, yeah, I missed open team sheets. <laughs> I probably need three wins now to get into Master Ball. It wasn't a stream snipe. It was just like, I just didn't have a matchup um, with what they led. Like, I don't think they made any weird plays. It's not like I was really threatening anything with Sableye Armor Rouge in front of, you know. Or is Sylveon t in front of Iron Hand? <sighs> so sad. Another Trick Room team with Armor Rouge and DD, which is pretty bad, and the Iron Hand. Um. Okay. Tyranitar is pretty good here. I like Tyranitar here. Um, I like Staraptor as well for the Intimidate and for the potential versus Iron Bundle. We should probably watch out for the same strategy we got like with that they got us with last time. Um, I definitely want Sylveon and I think I want Karmadura here. Yeah. Here's the thing. So I think this might be another weak armor weakness policy strategy because specifically they have Flamigo. And it's like, why do you have Flamigo if you, if you, um, why do you have Flamigo if you like with nothing to set up with it? Right? So I have a suspicion that this might be okay. I don't know what's going on. Probably not Sash Flamigo, right? There's no way it's Sash Flamigo. There's a couple Pokemon want Sash in the team. Okay. It's super slow Flamigo. It's slower than Tyranitar. Okay. You know Rock Slide plus Brave Bird, I think. That's Wide Guard. Are they Wide Guarding me? Is it Trick Room Flamigo? I'm worried about Terra, but like... It's Scarf, Jolly, Flamigo, and Co-Star always activates out their other abilities. And that's what just happened. But I didn't know. I had no idea. I literally had no idea. I didn't know Co- Why, why does co Wait, I had no idea Co-Star activates other, after other abilities. Why does that happen? Why does that happen? Why? Why does that happen? And they crit me. And it has Ndidi. It's so doomed. It's so doomed.
this is like basically my only way back into this game um and it's like okay if indeedy clicks follow me here i need to end delay it makes me nervous if indeedy clicks follow me here the thing is i don't know why indeedy would follow me here right like they probably think that my armor rouge can't really do anything except like psychic move uh and whatever so if, if their indeedy thinks that i only have please click helping hand like there's no reason for indeedy to follow there's literally no reason to follow me here with indeedy so please don't go for it okay what's indeedy doing what's indeedy doing what's indeedy doing okay quick attack comes out psychic terrain does not work on your partner weak armor activates weakness policy activates what is indeed you doing is it trick rooming i'm set up i don't get sword power off which is fine oh it took away weak armor <laughs> you thought wrong you thought very wrong uh oh sand the thing is i can oh wait now i can hit i still lose i still freaking lose because they're just gonna armor can me and i'm gonna die dang it then i may as well protect right in hyper voice because they're probably just gonna armor cannon me and then i'll die i lose i actually still lose that's wild because because i'm dark type now and i don't have like they can just armor cannon me and i'll die so basically i need still be on the sweep they're gonna follow me this turn to make sure they don't take the attack and they're probably gonna armor cannon what happens next clear smog oh my god they're gonna clear smog me that's pretty wild the thing is though i get a little damage down i get the boost which is great protect expanding force clear smog Huh. I mean, I'm still gonna have armors at the end of this, right? And the, the psychic terrain is ending at some point. Skill swap, follow me, helping hand, attack. I think. So I'm gonna go for stored power into DD this turn. And I'm gonna hyper voice again. This actually might be winnable. Maybe. Like, not guaranteed, but maybe. Follow me again. Sword power will kill here. Sword power is very strong. Sword power comes out. Survives. That's actually very unfortunate. Your smog comes out. I'm still alive though. They haven't terrored yet. I need to keep that in mind. Everyone's is going to do a lot more damage here. Bring armor rouge one turn away from going down to it. How many turns of Sandra left? Is, there, is it the last one? One more turn. Okay. Which means two turns of psychic green. That's actually pretty bad because I don't really want to take an, uh, an attack here. Expanding force. It's probably Iron Bundle. Or is it something else? Iron Hand, actually. Okay, hang on. So I can go for Armor Cannon here and Hyper Voice. It should be faster. And they don't have Wide Guard. And I'm plus one special attack. I think this is actually maybe winnable. They shouldn't be able to... Oh, they have expanding force access still. Shoot. I shouldn't die to an expanding force. I'm going to say it. I don't think I died to expanding force. Can armor take another quick attack? If it could, it's probably the right move. But I'm not sure. Who's tearing? Who, who? Oh, no. Is it psychic? Okay, it's not. Is it fire? Fairy? Okay, that's a good play. Protect from armor rouge. Okay. Armor cannon, strong attack. Please do damage. Not enough, I think. I think it's not enough. Hyper voice. I'm still plus one. This is probably assault that's based on the damage. So close. Play rough. It's still me on. Sand is gone. 
I can armor cannon and protect. This is so close. My armor moves first, which is great. Love that for me. So true, Becky. Hey. Are they going to call the protect here? Do they want to clear smug again? Armor cannon again. This should clear. Goes down. The question is, who do their armors target? Do they go for expanding force? Do they go for armor cannon? Do they go for clear smog? Expanding force. Okay. This still isn't over because my psychic attack, the only move that I can hit their armors with. I don't know their ability. Do you all think that it is? I'm going to go for it. Stored power, quick attack. It's a 20 base power and a 40 base power move. I don't think it does enough. I need to. I need them to be not weak armor weakness policy. Don't be weak armor. Critical hit, huge crit. No, they're weak armor. I could lose to this now. I didn't know. Clear smog, they got it wrong. Oh my God. There's no way. There's no way. One more quick attack. Oh. Oh, okay. Okay. The crit didn't matter. In the end. Oh my god. I can't believe I won that. I could have I could have heat waved. Oh my god, I cannot believe I won that. Two more. I played really well in the second half of that game, for sure. They didn't throw, I played super well. I don't think they threw at all. Oh God, a team that takes advantage of Paradox Pokemon when I have none. Um, Maybe flip turn stuff. Scizor should definitely come to mess with the Paradox Pokemon. Scizor, okay, Scizor's good into Fluttermane, it's good into Roaring Moon, it's good into Bundle, which leaves Titar for the others. Sylveon's not good here. I don't need Sylveon here. I want to bring Scizor. I haven't been able to use him yet. This looks really hard, but um, I just need to get a little bit of damage down early and I should be all right. Okay, this is difficult, but with T-Tar, we're not in horrible shape. <laughs> I like the trainer card in Sleepy Armourage. I have Fake Out. I have um, Shadow Sneak. Okay. Ugh, an unfortunate lead for me, I think, um, in all honesty. I mean, this kind of sucks as a lead for me, right? Take out and switch. This Roaring Moon is a big problem for what I brought. I need to get damage on it expeditiously. I'm really worried to um They're not, they're not booster energies. What are they on this thing? Ooh, wide guard. That is not ideal, is it? Most Roaring Moon do not run, um... I'm glad to get a little sand chip down, in all honesty.
It's goggles, armor rouge. It's just no. I can just crunch, right? Crunch the armor rouge. Or could I just rock slide or could I dragon dance? I'm worried about eating a fighting type attack in all honesty, but if I eat a fighting type attack, it's probably just doomed. Do I want to scout for a turn? I could scout, right? There's no need to rush. Like, this thing is that this thing doesn't, it hasn't like done anything yet, right? Can I Terra here? Do I, can I afford to give up my water typing? My fire typing? Maybe a little, right? I could turn into the water type just to be safe and go for DD. I'll do it. It's not great in all honesty. It's actually pretty bad. But I'm worried about Brick Break and I just don't want to eat him. I don't want to lose the game and stuff. Orbital comes in. Activates Protosynthesis. Wait, this could be a lot of problematic things. I should just rock slide it. I should just rock slide it. Oh my god. Speed, okay. What if it's... Ah, oh, shoot. I made a mistake. 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 I should just rock slide it. This Torkoal will beat my whole team if I'm not... Actually, no. If I kill Roaring Moon, I can win with Armor Rouge, right? Okay, I'm tearing just because I was a security boy. See what they're going for with. I mean, at least it's speed, in all honesty. I'd rather have speed than anything else. No Terra. Iron Head, okay. Please don't flinch, Tyranitar. DD, okay. We are on a line, baby. I'm not really opposed to just trading here, in all honesty. Scissor for Roaring Moon would be a good trade in my book. Oh, here it comes. Oh, no. Oh, man. Flying. Wow, wow. I don't think they're acrobatics. Wait, flying? What are they doing? They don't, have, they, they don't have booster energy. What are they doing? Okay. I didn't predict this, but I'm not complaining. What are they using? They have Iron Head. They have... Chat, they have an item, right? I'm not, I'm not out of my mind. They do have an item, right? All damage is good damage. They have an item still, right? I didn't see it get used. Whatever. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. I think they still have an item. I'm pretty sure. I don't see it get popped. They have an item for sure. Don't miss. Don't miss. Don't miss. I hit both. Amazing. A. Great. I crit the... Uh, that didn't matter. Ah, shoot. Corruption? Flinch? Yeah, baby! Woo! <laughs> nice, they have no Terra. I have boosted Titar. Flutter main. Flutter moon. Oh, wait, this thing is still fast with me. Oh, wait, I'm actually big chilling. Special attack. Wait, yeah, it's fine. I go for um bullet punch and protect because then if in a perfect world, Bullet Punch hits Fluttermane. I lose, um... Nice, no protect from Fluttermane, or it's slow as heck. Bullet Punch, okay, nice. This isn't Sash, it's dead. It's just dead? Okay, amazing. Wow, wow. Okay, I win. This is, I definitely win. Okay, and then I can bullet punch here, front here. Nice. Okay, cool. Nice. Good job, Turnitar.
Even though I wasn't stunned, Renatar was still really good. I'm glad I preemptively terrored there, just predicting Iron uh, Roaring Moon to be kind of a pain. Because if I take a bunch of damage and flint there, I'm in big trouble. But being able to, like, yeah, Dragon Dance in the face of, you know, Roaring Moon just felt good. It's funny that even at plus one, Tyranitar is so slow. It's still so much slower than the other Paradox ones. One more. One more win probably gets me there. Let's get to, ma well, to Master Ball, and then we have to get rank one after that. Okay, here we go. Hey, there's some scary mons on this team. They've got Murkrow. I mean, I'm kind of down to just do one, two. Tyranitar is really good into the Moth. It's really good into a lot of these Pokemon. It's good. I like it into Bundle. It's good into Moth. It's good into Murkrow. It's not good into Bundle or Iron Hand. Sylveon's great here. Sylveon has like all the Pokemon for super effective damage. Um, the problem is actually all my Pokemon are kind of good here, right? Scizor's not bad. I probably want Tyranitar as my hunch. This looks solid. Staraptor's good here. Staraptor's really good here. But I don't know if it's where the booster energy is, is the problem. This is tricky. Like, I don't know if I brought the right Pokemon here. Scissor actually has a real case to be made for it here, and so does um, Staraptor. Guys, I don't have a cat. What are you talking about? Grimmsnarl and Iron Hand. Okay. Okay, no Terra. If we hit the burn, this is amazing. Make out. Nice. From... I couldn't tell who that was from, but it'll become apparent in a second. Nice protect. Light screen, not ideal. It's fine though. Please connect Willow with. Nice hit. Okay, great. Really nice. <clears throat> so what do I want to do here is the question. I want to shadow sneak and I think go for Heat wave? I mean, light screen's up. This isn't going to do anything. I don't really have anything better to do, though. I'll go Shadow Sneak Heat Wave. It's fine. Okay. No switches. No switches? That's a lot of damage. This may have been a mistake, in all honesty. I'm not positive. I maybe should have gone for... I didn't want to go for Armor Cannon. I probably should have just gone for um, Standing Force. Or, no, um, Sword Power. I missed. I should have... I made the wrong play. I hit the one I... Oh, my God. I'm doing no damage. This sucks. Okay, they hit Sableye, which is fine. I really want this Grimstone, as long as it's true. Oh. Thunder Punch into Sableye. Nice. I'm still alive. So I am barely breathing. Um, I should probably just go on the offense in all honesty. Go for expanding force and switch. I should just kill the, the iron hands this turn. That's like a real thing. I can go for stored power and kill um kill this thing. I'm gonna protect here actually. Force, like show them force them to show me what they want to do the pair there is unfortunate but not the end of the world uh i want to save sableye because i think i have a relatively safe switch here i don't think they're going to spear break me again in front of armor rouge i think they want to lower its special attack let's we'll see what they go for here should be spear break into armor rouge uh, and free kill so that move is so strong okay, well at least i got half of the play correct 
This is gonna do no damage early on now, but I, I feel like I should take my damage while I can. It shouldn't take plus two. Um, it should not take plus two hyper voice and, or plus two armor cannon and hyper voice, right? Armor cannon is gonna do a lot of damage here. Come on, baby. Show me the money. Show me 80%. 84. Okay. Come on, Sylvia. Finish this off. Come on, baby. Come on. It's super effective damage. You are a very strong. Okay. Nice. Super good. I crit the Grim Snarl that actually may have mattered. We'll call it even. How about that? Reflect didn't go up, which is good for Tyranitar. We got a lot of damage in the Iron Hand. I may go down to Thunder Punch here because I'm minus two defense. Let's see here. Thunder Punch. Come on, Armor Rouge. Don't para. Hey, I mean, I'm stacking. Nice, more damage. That's the AB Iron Hands, almost certainly. Who comes in here? Is it Bundle? Show me Bundle. Show me uh, Booster Energy Bundle. Moth. Booster Energy Moth. I'll take it. There's... I'm going to... Oh, it's Special Attack Moth. Uh, I'm going to say it. I don't believe this thing takes the Stored Power. I don't believe it. I'm going for it. I think this thing is dead on dead in the water. Sword power comes out. This is a very powerful attack. Bye bye. Oh, I forgot it was weak to poison. Well, it definitely doesn't take it if it's weak to poison. I will tell you that much. <laughs> I have voice to finish off the iron hand. Does not. Okay. Well, that's not ideal, but I should be in good shape. Well, oh, they go to Sylveon. Well, then I'm definitely in. Burnt. Double pair on Thunder. Oh, all the EV spreads are in the sub board. Okay. I should be pretty much sealed up here. Do it is. Bundle? Eight. Eight escape. Okay. They have not carried yet, but I still can go for hyper voice sword power. If this were a tournament, I would probably protect with Amon first. They protect on switch to Sableye. To cover for a weird Terra. Can I just blow this? Can I just blow this? Hang on. If it's like steel or dark, I get fire. This should be fine. It's fine because now Teacher comes in, GDs, and then wins the game. Sword power. I think this will do a lot of damage. Yeah, I'd say that was a lot. Come on, Sylveon, end this for me. Nice. Okay, GG. All right, nice. This should get me into Master Ball. So now it's just a question of how many games until that rank one. Probably, I'm going to guess that this it took me an hour and a half. So probably like top third, top 20. I think I'm going to be 20, rank 27. That's my prediction when I join Master Ball. Maybe a little lower. Because so it took me 10 games. What? I am so good. Oh my god, I am so good. I I I am so good. I'm honestly so good. I I cannot I cannot believe that. Live on stream. Live on stream. That's Come on. Come on. <laughs> How could you not subscribe? That, that's what a read. Okay, this is very similar to the first regionals uh, winning team. However, it's a bit different. And that's how, you know, I'm a pro streamer, baby. I mean, these guys look really strong here. Um, I need to think about how I want to beat Garganackle. Frankly, Scizor looks really good here, except for the Moth, right? Sylveon is... Uh, I like Scizor here because it's really good into um, the guy. Staraptor probably is Staraptor's not bad, but I like I like Tyranitar for Moth. Yeah, I like Tyranitar here. Okay, I like these mods. 
Adrian, thanks for joining the channel. Really appreciate that. Make sure you join the sub store where you can get this team, all my teams. Um, yeah, in there. You never bring scissor? I'm bringing scissor this game. What do you want from me? I'm bringing it. I'm bringing it, okay? <laughs> yeah, we actually recorded a Pokemon perspective, which is an ed. Takes a while to edit them, but yeah, we have one. Um, we have one that's in editing. We just got busy. But yeah, it, we recorded it like a week. We, we recorded it before I left for San Diego. I think we're both just pretty busy at the moment. Um, yeah. The hand, the dreaded hands bundle combo. Is it a uh, booster? Not booster. Okay. Go fake out armor cannon, I think. Or I'll go fake. I want to break the focus sash. I'm going to protect an armor cannon. I'm going to protect a heat wave. My defense is up. I could also go protect and Willowist here is the other good play I could make. Okay, it's faster than Sableye, which I guess probably isn't that much of a surprise in all honesty. I should have protected and Willowist here in all honesty. I just like, kind of got my place confused. Right, I'm just too speed so fast now. Go Willowist and protect. There's no need to rush into this. Oh wait a second, armor cannon probably just straight up kills, right? So I don't even need to activate the weakness policy if I don't want. Yeah, I actually don't even need to activate weakness policy though. It, it doesn't hurt either. I wish I just protect and take out. Oh wow, they actually called that. It was an opportunity to just kind of go ham, but whatever. Garganackle, wow, what a play. That's, that's pretty wild, actually. Yeah, they predicted the will with there. Nice play. They probably know I'm side Shadow Sneak now. Um, Which kind of sucks. Purifying Salt, yep. Let's see what they go for. All right, they predicted the Protect? Oh my god. They're popping off. Okay. I can Quash. I can Armor Cannon. What do I want to do here? <laughs> well, let's see what they do with Garg. Nice. No crits. Now, you might notice. You may notice, chat. I have quite a few stat boosts. And I want Minecraft Donkey Kong removed from the game. MCDK, my old friend. That's a big kill. Ooh, that's a bad thing to send in for me right now. They can fake out Trick Room if they have it. I guess Shadows need to break the thing. Big out, not gonna work. I hit the Willowis, this is great. Are they going for Trick Room here? Because it's a little risky, I think. They go for Trick Room, okay, it's a, honestly a really good play. I think that's their way back into this, in all honesty. A minus two defense, right? 
If I have Will-O-Wisp available, of course. Um, I don't actually think, I don't think there's sniping, guys. I, I just like, was a, I, but the play there was like, if I got it wrong, I would lose. I just wanted to make it safely. What are, what are armor just that? Minus two defense should be fine, right? So what I'm actually gonna do here is I'm gonna, I'm gonna use my Terra, even though my health is super low. I can go for Quash and Sword Power here. Because basically I expect a ghost attack into armor rouge, and even with minus two defense, I can die. So what this will do is if I get the kill here, I'm in such good shape when the game, you know. This causes Iron Hands to go last. Despite the fact that Trigger is up, and there should be a ghost type attack as my hunch. Oh, actually they target Sableye. They, oh wait, they didn't know what cost. Yep, and I survived thanks to the So Terra here was actually not necessary, but it, it covered a play. So I go for Sword Power because I figure I don't need to burn the Iron Hands. I don't need to lose on a will o miss. If Trickram goes like if Iron Hands goes down, they shouldn't be able to beat Scissor anymore. That's my thought at least. Then we can take some burn damage. Scissor Tyranitar is clean up now in all honesty, so I can probably just rest easy. Iron Bundle comes back in. I can just Shadow Sneak and Protect, I think. This covers for Reverse Trick Room. Because then Scissor just wins this one on his own, pretty much. So thinking about it, but I don't think they have a way out of this. If they reverse Trick Room, they still run into Armor Rouge. And if they don't reverse Trick Room, then they run into Stabilize plus they get Protect. Protect. Like, Tizar plus Scissor wins this on their own. Because I have close combat and bullet punch and stuff. Breaking the disguise is really nice. If they reverse trick from here, I don't think they would here without doing the armor first. They're off the take out Stabli. Okay. I have some choices here to make. Um, I go scissor for sure. Just bullet punch will okay, KO mimic you. Have they paired yet? They haven't, right? I should make sure I don't accidentally lose to Terra, right? Peter should win this though. Are they Terrid? No, they haven't. So I need to watch out for that. Um, this way they would need to Terra Mimic you to survive this, right? Okay, here we go. Mimic you. Who is it? Ghost. All right. Survives a bullet punch. I'm not going to lose this, am I? I could, right? It's not... I mean, maybe we should close combat at the iron bundle, but I, I was figured it was safer here. Okay. Player of attack, we should KO, okay. Hold on a second, did I lose this? Hydro pump crit, right? To make this really interesting. Hydro pump connect. Okay. I was kind of in danger to do a crit there. Maybe you can't touch uh, Scizor, is the thing. Last turn of Trick Room. Wait a second. Wait, wait a second. Hang on. Did I lose this? They're probably going to protect, right? Should I just read it and go for Swords Dance Rock Slide? Yeah. They're going to protect. There's no way they attack with Bundle here. There's the last turn of Trick Room. There's no way they attack. Yeah. FD. I think they have Willowist though. 
Rock slide. Okay, don't miss. Don't miss. Don't miss. I'm there first. Yeah. Okay, cool. Nice. Okay, I was a little closer than it should have been. I was in an amazing position. And I just chose to kind of boom myself. I should have closed combat of the iron bundle. That was the right play. Okay. Now I get to go for bullet punch at plus two and punch at plus zero. Nice. Nice. Okay, another win. So we were ranked 27. And now what? Now, where are we? Rank 27 down to... I feel like I could go pretty... I feel like I get some points for this. There's not that many people here. I feel like I could jump to like 18. 16. I'm going to say 18. Seventeen, okay. Nice. Okay, another kind of similar team to the last one. We've played a couple teams like this, but this one's actually a bit scarier. It's got Dragonite, Max Caliber, Gold Dango's a problem. Um Okay, and they have Volcarona. So when I see Volcarona, I think to myself, I probably want Tyranitar. So Tyranitar is pretty good into a lot of these Pokemon. Um, Scissor is actually pretty decent here, in all honesty. I want Sylveon, but I think Scissor is better, right? Like, I just need to prioritize getting rid of the Volcarona. They locked in quickly. That makes me nervous. I need to remember that Grimmsnarl is slower than, um, the guy. How'd you get the team? I wonder traded for it. <laughs> okay, Grimmsnarl plus Dragonite. Alrighty. So this, to me, feels like, let's not, let's not even bother with this. Let's will o and switch to Scizor. This dragon is a big problem for my weak armor, weakness, weak, weak armor, weakness policy stuff. So I want to prioritize getting a burn on it if possible. It also is really good into multi scale stuff. Light screen, okay. They're not going for extreme speed. What are they doing with Dragonite? I miss. I missed. They DD'd. They DD'd and I missed. You've got to be kidding me. Oh my god, that's so lame. That's so so lame. Oh, that sucks. Reflect. Okay. Are they Lumberry? Like, why? Are they just going to let me burn them? I don't understand. Okay, I hit this time. Are they Lum? Plus one, but they're burnt. Lumberry? EQ. Hacking themselves. They crit themselves <laughs> they didn't do that much damage i'm not that worried about it um in all honesty like i can bullet punch here obviously i'm not opposed to just sneak and bullet punch like get a little damage down he should do a lot oh reflect i was like why do i come DD again, not bad for me. They probably don't have protect, honestly. They're probably spirit breaking to save which is fine. Power play! Dude! That's really bad. I'm probably losing this now. I don't have a way through Grimstarl anymore. Okay, teaser comes in. Get the sand up. God, that sucks. 
All right. Well, that's really bad. What else do they have on this team for T-Tar? They got Gold Dango. A Quash. And Rock Slide. This Reflect sucks. This Reflect sucks so much. Come on, T-Tar. Show me the money. Oh my god! No! Please, flinch the multi the energy focus. Oh! oh wait, wrong one. Oh, oh, oh. Not good, 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 not good. Oh boy. They're plus four attack. I hate this. This sucks. The roost. They're probably multi-scale though. If they're multi-scale, I can flinch it. Agreed? Any agreeers? I can just do the same play again and one of them I'm gonna flinch both. Come on, Tyranitar. Give me a crit, give me a flinch on both. Give me a double crit. I hit both. Amazing. Any crits? Okay, flinch. Give me the double. Give me the double. Give me the double. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. Copium. It's fine. They're taking damage. They're taking damage. One more time, Tyranitar. Show me one more. You can pet the Dragonite in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. Dragon Dance, Earthquake, Roost. Probably extreme speed, right? Okay. We are stalling out their stupid field effect. One more time! Come on, Tyranitar! Hit both! Come on, baby! Nice! Kill Grim! Flinch! Oh. A lot. Flinch? And they take off both. It's over. I lose. I actually lose. They crit themselves again. They did infinite damage to Kitar. There's no way I can win this now. They actually got me. That sucks. No. Oh. They died of sand, but that's run took too much damage. This sucks. Basically, I only win if they somehow give me the weak armor weakness policy, which I don't think they can do. If it's like Volcarona, they haven't even Terrid yet. Vol. That's who though. Hard. Here's what I'm thinking, chat. Here's my thought process. Okay. If they salt cure, they're gonna give me the what I need, right? This is like grass. Okay, hang on. Hang on a second. If they salt cure me, they're probably gonna activate the wide guarding. Come on, salt cure me. Salt cure me, baby. Cutie, cutie. Wait, how do they they predict the protect? God. Give me the crit. Give me the heat wave crit. Come on, they I missed. Wait, not the Volk. I missed the Volk. The one Pokemon I needed to hit. I missed them. <sighs> oh my god, this sucks so much. This sucks so much. I can't get anything. Arma Cannon. I failed the double. This was not a fun game. Bug Buzz. Armor Rouge. Oh, they knew about weak armor weakness policy. Also, what the? I died to that? Okay, that sucks. This game was pretty brutal, not gonna lie. That was a really. And I'm gonna lose a lot of points for losing here because this opponent was not high ranked. This wasn't even a bad matchup. I just couldn't get. I don't know. They got me with the. Freaking foul play. I should have prioritized killing the stupid thing, I guess. But then Volk just comes in. It's not like that much better for me. <sighs> that sucked. The heat wave miss didn't matter. I was gonna lose that at that point anyway. Uh the Willow's miss really put me behind. Um 
the foul play just caught me off guard in all honesty like i just wasn't expecting a foul play i needed sable to stay alive so i could try and like reverse sweep with because if i had sable oh my god i lost so many rankings for that if i had sable in the end game like i was gonna be fine because i could have side um shadow sneak to my arm i need to set armors at some point but the problem is that the turn where i like finally got dragon out of the field was the same turn i died okay it's fine okay okay paradox team pretty heavily paradox pokemon the roaring moon is pretty hard for me um I like these two up front. Oh wait, this, I have to be careful because I could just end up in the same scenario as the game where I got super boomed. Titar is really good here. Titar is super good. Um, Sylveon is good. I think these four. I think this gives me pretty decent odds in all honesty. Thank you for the super chat squared. I appreciate that. Okay, this is a hard matchup, but I think it's doable. Iron Hands and Roaring Moon. So this is actually pretty nice because I led these two, right? And if they're booster energy... Oh, it's clear amulet. Oh, no, it's clear amulet. Wait, hold on a second. Um... Thanks very much, Court. Appreciate it. Um, your amulet's kind of scary, right? I have kind of a cool play that I want to make. Let's see if it works. Okay. Probably fake out somewhere. Sylveon? What are they doing with this guy? Bird drop. Double Sylveon. Okay. Pretty scary, unfortunately, but I'm not out of the woods. Or I'm not, I'm not out of the game. I'm going to quick attack the sword power here. Let's just get Iron Hands off the field and get set up, you know? Like, if I'm in their position, I'm pretty worried about Sylveon hypervoicing. So I think that either they terrestrialize and try and kill Sylveon, which doesn't seem super likely, or... Okay, they don't terrestrialize. I feel like they got to predict Roaring Moon here, right? Like, you should, you know... Oh, they terrestrialize. It's them. Deal. Oh my god, that's so lucky. That's awesome. Now they're in heat wave range. They're probably gonna kill me with Iron Head, and they're like, yes, I'm great, but in actuality, they're in a lot of danger from this plus two uh armor rouge. Oh. They throw a chop? Yep, that doesn't stop quick attack though. You can't hyper voice? Well, okay, Terra Blast, excuse me. Excuse me, chat. Terrorblast is still a threat to them. The same thing, right? Okay. I kill Iron Hands. By using the Terra Dark to make myself weak to Fairy. Okay, and then this is probably Iron Head if I had to guess. Sylveon. Yep, Sylveon goes down, which is actually okay. Oh my god, a $200 donation! That is super generous. Thank you so much. That is really generous. I was one of the number one with more Pico, so I believe you can do this too. Wow, that is very generous. Thank you. <laughs> That's really, really generous. But I don't want to see your Iron Moth with booster energy speed, which is probably not going to happen. Right? They're not going to do Iron Moth. No, you're right. Intimidate doesn't work. Okay, that's actually kind of bad. Please be special attack. Speed. Okay. I think there's no bulk, so I'm not. I'm not doomed. I can go for Brave Bird and protect. I hope you catch them here. <sighs> D 
because this turn if i got like basically because i oh i haven't lowered my special defense i might have been okay this might have been a little bit this might have been a little bit preemptively defensive because i don't think iron moth can kill me okay they don't seem to go for protect which is great the protect roaring moon okay this turn's going very well discharge oh please to raptor don't get para full para it's a nine percent chance please don't let it happen i live i can't believe i didn't get powerful para there i've never seen that happen in my life they live they live they live they live okay this is now scary again i could lose <laughs> um i mean armor is just still full hp i basically just need i have sand up i don't want to go for the double i don't think armors will die to an attack here it's not even special attack moth i need i need armors to take a hit here nothing else to say about it i'm worried about like overheat picking up the ko heat wave okay i should live this i live no burns nice Raptor was actually pretty clutch here, although not killing Moth is dumb as hell. But that's fine. We get the KO with Armor Cannon. Which is really good. Car, thank you for joining the channel. Really appreciate that. Moth is gonna go down to Sandstorm. And I got a DD up with Tyranitar. What's the donut one out? It's uh 200 or 200 dollars almost exactly. But you don't need to donate any more money. You've donated quite a lot. Thank you very much for the support. Flutter main. Okay, cool. This should be fine, right? There's pretty much nothing they can do that will win this, except for maybe no no, I, I have enough health. We go for crunch and board power. Nice. Protect was technically safer here, but yeah. Okay, so we, we're, we've peaked at number 17. We need to do better than that if we want to get rank one because one is below 17. Okay, 23. So we're in between where we were at first and then after a win. Not so bad. Paradox Pokemon are legal now. Wow, that was pretty much almost different music. Hey. Oh my God, another $200 donation. That is so generous. Thank you so much. That's really, 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 really generous. Thank you very much. I really appreciate it. How do I, how am I winning? That is so generous. Squirt is Mr. Beast. <laughs> that, that is really generous, and I really appreciate the support. Thank you very much. I really appreciate it. I think that's probably the most donation. Oh my god, 420. <laughs> that's probably the most donations we've had in a single stream, at least in many, many, many years. The square of Mr. Beast had laughed so hard. <laughs> I don't, I feel like Mr. Beast probably doesn't have time to, uh, probably doesn't have time to be stopping into random streams. I feel like that guy's always doing like so, so much. <laughs> Staraptor Ditto Pog. Yeah, who, who would have thought that we'd be seeing uh, Staraptor Ditto? They've locked in, okay. I don't really want to lose to Raptor. This, like, basically with what I brought, I could have some real trouble. I think I led wrong. I think I was supposed to lead Sylveon on here. Oh, 
Oh, it's... Yo. It's the thing again. It's the thing again. It's again. It's again. Yep. Alrighty. We know it's coming. Thanks very much for popping nothing, nothing. I appreciate that. And thank you again for it. Very, very generous. All right. Let's see if they go for it. I needed to lead with Sableye here. If I led with Sableye, we're just... Actually, even with leading Sableye, we're not being killing, are we? All right. Let's see what they go for here. There should be side flip turn plus the normal Bologna. Commodore uses Protect. Flip turn. Pull me once. I might still lose this. It's like I'm still in the back, but you know. Is the entire team surprise traded? It is. Every single Pokemon here we surprise traded for. And if you don't believe me, you can actually find the full stream on this channel under the live section, which is where you go if you ever miss a stream. Are a spear thing to be aware of? Yeah, I know. Yes, Rodic comes in. Okay. Standing force, not bad. So here, I mean, I can just go for protect and Terra Dark Heat Wave, right? Good luck in rank one. Thank you very much. This could backfire, of course, but it also could reverse backfire. Like, basically, I just need to protect Titar here, I think. And if Titar stays alive, I should be okay. Right. We know probably all four mons. They protect Armourage, which is good. I protect Titar. Wait, let's see if Miascarada protects. No, no protecting Miascarada. So as long as I hit the Heat Wave here, I should be in really good shape. Go for knockoff into Arena. Oh no, they go. Oh, they're for Which is actually, this might look bad, but it actually ends up being pretty okay because now I get the weak armor activate, activated, which means I now outspeed their Miascarada. Which is great. Oh, it's Life Ward. Oh my god. Weird set. And we need to pay attention to Sand here because this is going to be kind of cool. I'd love to see a burn. Okay. I'm faster than them, which is a big deal because now even something like Armor Cannon isn't threatening enough for me. Sucker Punch won't kill me. It's, it's a speed tie at the very worst. I'm going to go for Crunch here and Heat Wave. This covers for a Terra if they're Terra Dark, which I don't think they will be. I think they're going to be Terra Psychic. I didn't think about that. I needed an Armor Cannon. I didn't think about that. I didn't think about that. I should live, though. Tur Tyranitar should live. Oh, I didn't think about that. It's fine. It's fine, Copium. Because they're, because here's the thing about... For, unless they're low kick. Are they... Could they be low kick? Brick Break! No! Oh my god, Tyranitar is so good! Meow's Grota is so bad! <laughs> How did I live? That was my bad. I didn't even think about Wide Guard. I was thinking about Terra. <laughs> That's the problem with Berthan. <laughs> okay. Love the content. Keep the word work. Will you be open for coaching in some attempts to amenify? I don't have time, unfortunately. I, I, it's not, I like coaching, but I, I really don't have time, unfortunately, anymore. Actually, I can just Dragon Dance here. Um, I have in the back uh, Staraptor Sylveon. If the last Pokemon... I'll just see. An armor cannon. <laughs> <laughs> that's not what I like I didn't know that was gonna happen I didn't even think they had sucker punch in all honesty but I'm not complaining this should kill right because match chilling water I live this uh, I take leaf one one exactly leave the sand image which is fine you definitely like they definitely did their job Renazar 
What was do cowardly to put Tinker on a team? Check out the stream with RT. Okay, Tan's gonna KO three Pokemon this turn. Three Pokemon. Does TJ won a world championship? It should have at this point. Yeah, definitely has won. It won in 2012 when it beat me. Did it win in 2010 as well? Did Ray have TJR on his team? It's won, I think, three world championships. It won in 20... Did it win in 2014? Did Sajun have it? Or did Jody have it? One of them had it. Jody had it. I don't think Sajun had it. It won in 12... 13... Did it win in 13? Mm, did Arash have it? Latios, Tornadus? No, he didn't. Um, Landorus. I don't remember. Have they teared yet? I don't know, but it's fine. Okay. All right, another win. This should get us into top 15 is my guess. This could get us close to rank 10. Yeah, exclamation point Discord to join the Discord. Oh, she's only won one world? That's crazy. It's coming close a lot of time. Yeah, the teacher surviving there was super clutch. Okay, number 18. So we didn't get very many for that, which is fine. Okay, Among Us is kind of a problem. Um, Iron Hands is kind of a problem. Fluttermane is kind of a problem. Goldango is kind of a problem. Gyarados is kind of a problem. Table is not bad here because it can burn Gyarados. They have armors as well. Okay, Tyranitar is really good here. Basically, the goal, I think, is Tyranitar sweep. Um, I gotta watch out for Goldengo, right? Goldengo is kind of a... I probably want to tear on my Tyranitar this game or my Sylveon. I definitely bring Titar. Titar is, like, really good here. The question is, do I want Sylveon? Do I want Scissor? Scissor is not super good. It is clear amulet, but it's not good to Gyarados. It's, it's not good to a lot of these mods. Let's bring this. Yeah. yeah. Oops, did you see this? If you get rank one before I go to sleep, I'll donate another hundred dollars. Oh my god. Well, I mean, I'll I'm, I'll just do my best. You know, this team isn't so bad. Like my team is is honestly holding up better, given it has than I expected. Given I have no paradox Pokemon. Draptor would have been good into Among Us, to be honest. That might have been my bad. Okay, let's see here. Iron Hands and Fluttermane are the leads. Interesting. This actually is a decent setup for me. Never mind. Special attack. Interesting. Okay. Hmm. I'm going to burn the Iron Hand and protect here. Thank you for the Darno Deeflu. Oh, I got boomed. I'm not going to lie to you. Um, oh my god, I got boomed. I should have Shadow Sneaked. Okay, whatever. I just gave them the boost for nothing. For no reason. Okay, I'm actually kind of in danger now. This is actually really bad. Like, oh, it's Gleam. Okay, it's Gleam. We're kind of chilling. We're not chilling, chilling, but we're not not chilling either. You know, we're like in between chilling and not chilling because Rosalie Berry will allow me to survive this attack, which is pretty big. Because Sable is surviving here. Oh my god, Sable is nothing. Eat it up. Delicious, 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 delicious. But now what do I do? I can sneak the, I can sneak the Flutter Mane. Oh, I think it's funny. Somebody said, oh, it's flash fire. It's like, because the whole stream, we've just been seeing weakness par uh, armor, armor rouge. <laughs> Even though flash fire is supposed to be the default. <laughs> I 
they're they're okay that is a very sp suspicious play that is a, an extremely suspicious play i don't know why you would protect flutter in front of these two okay uh that might okay uh, i i actually had a feeling i was like i should side screen for this oh that's really bad <sighs> okay well okay that's fine it's fine it's fine it's fine it's fine it's I don't know if they're sniping chat, to be clear. I don't know for sure. But it is... Ah, oh, this is actually suddenly really difficult. This is actually really difficult all of a sudden, because if I... Okay, it's okay. I can... I see a path forward. I see a path forward. Okay, they switch armor out. Iron hand. Put a dragon hand. Word power is going to pick up the KO here, which is good. A little chip damage down here, too. Basically, if Trick Room goes up, I suddenly am in enormous trouble. I haven't terrored yet either. Which is a problem. I should just go for old Rock Slide. Good old Reliable Rock Slide. Defense falls. Nice. I think I'm probably losing this one, in all honesty. I would genuinely be really surprised if I won this. Although, wait, actually, there's... I see a path forward. Oh, Gyarados comes in. Interesting. Oh, huh, okay. So I know all the Mons, right? Plus one Gyarados is still too slow. Nah, do I want to stay with Peter here? Yeah. Nah. Um... Okay. The protect is so obvious, but I don't really have a better option here, in my opinion. Reap waterfall and earthquake. Okay. Uh, sucks. Okay. There's a lot of damage. Sylvian takes a ton. The fastest thing on the field, which is good, but uh. They haven't terrored yet. So I really need to keep in mind. Who do I KO here? This is the thing. Do I want to Terra? I believe in Tyranitar Sweep. They got me. They actually got me. I I got it wrong. I, I like I knew this like was a possible. Oh, they I got it right. Wait, hang on a second. We're back in this baby. Gear is still a problem, but I just need armor. I just oh. In all honesty, I'd rather not KO here. Come on, Sylvia. You don't you don't got me right. Nobody else got me. No, uh, it's goggles. It's goggles. It's goggles. Copium. It's goggles? Is it goggles? I don't remember. I don't know if I've seen the item. It's goggles. Trust. Lefties. Trust spray or uh, mirror herb. Okay. <laughs> Karmadura. Then. Gera. Then. Armor Rouge. No. Why? And then still. Okay, I'm glad that that's the boost that they copied. <laughs> Hand comes back out. They have not terrestrialized yet, and neither have I.
I have no reason not to protect here because I think even at plus one attack, I can still win this game. They fake out into Arm Rouge, and now here, if they go for Dragon Dance, um, they still take damage. Which is nice. Waterfall into Sylveon, that's fine. Okay, and now. I'm in really good shape, assuming. This is a big assumption. Assuming their Iron Hands does not have Protect. I think the only attack we've seen from this thing is Fake Out. Oh, we haven't seen the Terra yet either. I have to go for it. I could have Armor Cannon. Maybe Armor Cannon was safer. I don't know. It's gonna be this is surprisingly like really close. Oh yeah, EQ. Fake out EQ, that's right. So they probably don't have protect. It's almost certainly AV. The thing is they haven't Terran, and that's what's really messing me up here. And me? Oh no. Oh no, that means if they're tearing, it's almost certainly Iron Hand. Come on, Peter. Come on, baby. Show me what you got. No Terra. It's Iron Hand. Oh god, not Steel. Not Steel. Iron Hand is... Round? Does this kill? Do I kill here? Board power plus two. Yeah! Let's go! This thing is so strong. Okay, Waterfall comes out. I'm slower. But now I'm faster. Oh, spooky. Very spooky. Oh, that was really hard. Um, I'm gonna go for Rock Spike because I'm water type. Otherwise, I think Crunch is technically safer. Rock Spike is the 90% chance of the one. I don't think they were I don't I don't know if they were sniping guys. It was just they just got a couple like it's like I never know. So I just it's better like for my own play, it's just better to like sometimes just take precautions. They definitely weren't sniping in the second half. Up 10. I think if I win four more in a row, I'll probably have it. Okay, trainer. We're 148. Okay. Um, this looks very scary. What is the ape doing? This looks like a trick room team. It's probably this really looks like trick room to me. Um Sylveon's pretty good here, in all honesty. I think I want to bring the default four. I'm a little bit worried about everything yeah this is a trick room team so i need to use torkoal and sableye basically to do whatever i can to slow them down what the ape do so it's probably final gambit annihilate plus um scream tail right my guess is it's going to be scream tail and a lead that makes my life difficult This is like pretty scary in all honesty. Like uh, I'm actually really weak to um, Ungabungus. What is his real name? Unga whatever, Ungabungus. I'm weak to Ungabungus. Torkoal's okay. Um, Iron Hands is a problem. Ungabungus is just a problem. 
How do you counter Rage Powder Brute? I freaking lose. I don't know. I got to figure that out, I guess. It's probably Trick Room Scream Tail. Or, yeah, it's just probably, it's got to be Trick Room Scream Tail here. It's going to be Scream Tail on something. I think Wish? Oh, boy. Scream Tail and Ungabunga. Oh, and I like Scream Tail. Okay, fine. So I could take a really big risk here and go for Side Shadow Sneak. And heat wave. Do a ton of damage. Take a lot of damage though. I can also board power the kill. I'll do it. This might backfire if they go for like rage fist, but I think it's okay. Because I have Sylveon who's actually pretty decent here in all honesty. Okay, here we go. I could have just taken a kill here, but I want damage on the, on the um, green kill. I knew I was going to miss. I knew it. Oh, who did I miss? God. Okay, burn is clutch. Although it's probably just final gambit, in all honesty. That, that miss is really bad. Final gambit. I'm dead. That sucks. No. Oh. Why? Trickle goes up. Okay, I got to get through four turns of this. You win this one, I'll stretch my legs. All right, I'll do it for you. Ah, oh, that heat wave miss is so bad. I really need damage on this scream tail or else we'll be able to set up a second trick room. A Sylveon? A word? This is a bad play. This is a really bad play. I should have, um... I should have will o and protected here, I think. Okay, come on. Dream Tails is really weak, so it shouldn't be able to kill my... What if it, like, sings, though? Psychic Fangs, I live, I live, I lived. Oh, more stats? More boos! <laughs> okay. Um... Torkoal, 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 Torkoal. Yay, nice. Super nice. Okay, which stat is it? Special defense? Add. Um, let's just go for a will o -Wisp here. Make sure it doesn't do damage for the rest of the game. Guitar. I feel like I mean I don't feel I don't want to lose both my Pokemon here. I don't want to protect either because I just like I want to keep my um Stable alive or my Armorage alive in case I need it for later damage later. Press Pro Synthesis to see if Willow's connect. Oh right, Terra. Basically, my thought process here is with the Sand I probably survive, even with Terra Fire. Willow's basically means Screamtail doesn't do damage. Hit excellent. We don't know what items on this thing. It's probably mental herb or something. They did lead it pretty fearlessly into stable. It could be covert cloak. It could be goggles. Eruption. How much is stable I gonna take? Keytar will survive. The question is how much is stable I take in. Specs. That's gotta be specs. Okay. Hey, I may I switch into the immunity. The thing is, this thing could also have helping hand. Like, I could still lose this, I think, depending. Does that turn three of Trick Room? Okay, it's not Goggles. Nice for Otter for the regional? Sure. So now every turn matters so much because I need to stall at Trick Room and I need to get as much damage as I can down on this Torkoal. And I need to scout for helping hand. Two turns of Trick Room left. So I can go Protect, Switch, Protect. Protect with both this turn. Oh, I have Terra Fire on Sylveon. I'll use that here to get a Hyper Voice off. Yep, they have Helping Hand. Helping Hand, Trick Room, Psychic Fangs, and one more move. The question is, what's that final move? Will the X Mr. Beast collab win? I would love to collab with Mr. Beast, honestly. Because, I mean, he, like, yeah, he's an incredible creator, but... Yeah. It's kind of difficult, I think. I think he's probably the most uh, wanted to collab with person on YouTube. 
Okay, saving terror actually comes in pretty clutch here. That's definitely specs torquil, right? Like it's, it shouldn't have done 40% of the keeper on this hand. You can take advantage of Sylveon's really good special bulk and start doing more damage to Torkoal as well. Encore? Oh, it could be Encore, but it's actually okay because I, I get to go Hyper Voice and switch here. Are you so familiar with damage talks? No, it's specs? I don't know. I've been playing for a while. Hi, Wolf, are you going to Orlando? You use Armor Rouge. Um, EVs are going to be in the sub discord if they're not already. I am going to our, uh, Orlando. We're sacking. This is where it's sometimes important to save a low HP Pokemon. Because, like, here, being able to save Tyranitar for one more turn. Otherwise, I might die to Helping Hand Eruption, and then it's, like, really iffy on if I can win. But if I save Tyranitar here, I'm in much, much, much better safe. safe. Come on, Sylveon. Helping hand again. I should take this. Eruption. Okay. Nice. This damage is adding up because eruption is just getting weaker and weaker. Hyper voice. Not going to do a lot of damage, but this actually adds up, especially with sand, especially with uh, burn, especially with eruption. Why water to run over flying? Um, because I was worried about Goldengo, right? If you look at my team, I don't really have much for Goldengo. And I was also worried about water attacks since I have zero water types in this team. Trickroom is up, which means I get to go Rock Slide Hyper Voice. And I think it's Specs Torkoal here. And if I'm correct about that, then even if I miss Rock Slide, I should still be okay. Helping hands. There's no trick room. I didn't I didn't count wrong, did I? I don't think I counted wrong. They're both amazing. Right, I guess just hitting one there wins the game in all honesty. Nice. Okay, if I even hit one, I win. So that's a 99% chance to win. Because if I kill Screamtail, then I win. If I, yeah, I win for this. Distant Highway, thank you for joining the Wolfhead. Really appreciate that. All right, we were ninth place coming into that. We won. I'm guessing we're going to be top six, maybe top five. Maybe top five. It's only a two and a half hours after the rank letter started, so it should be pretty, like, condensed at this point. Oh, wow. It's okay. That's not ideal. Number seven. I thought for sure top five. I was thinking maybe even fourth. Okay. We still got a ways to go. Oh, a high ranked opponent. Winning this will definitely put us top five, maybe top four, maybe top three. But Great Tusk and Amoongus are not the Pokemon that I wanted to see here. Okay. So, I mean, Sylveon looks really good here. Sylveon looks good. That's, that's something that I noticed. We might have to freestyle this a little bit. I wonder what the mouse are doing here, what the mice are doing. Sylveon looks super good. Sableye looks really good. Um, the Raptor doesn't look bad here, actually. Murkrow is scary. Bundle is scary. Titar is good. So Titar should definitely come. Titar is coming. Um... I, the thing about Sableye is that I worry that bringing Sableye means that I'll get stuck doing nothing against um, the Amoongus, and I feel like I can't afford that. I could bring Armorish here. It's like, or I could even bring Scizor. Scizor's really good into Fluttermane, which is really valuable. I'm going to bring Scizor. I haven't brought in a lot, but I, I have some faith in it. Oh, this is a scary, scary freaking team. Okay, the two scary, one of these is going to have, um, one of these is going to have booster energy. Let's see. Probably bundle, if I had to guess. Yeah, makes sense. The thing is that this is okay for me because it's like, 
this puts them both in scissor range right so i can go scissor and like yeah i would love to save sylveon for later for great tusk but i'd also like to put everything in range of scissor scary lead but honestly i have my special poke like my specially bulky pokemon in play a lot of paradox pokemon on this team they've got great tusk eventually in the back as well Scizor. A Terra. Oh no, it's offensive. Maybe it's like Specs Fluttermane or something. Oh no, oh it's Gleam, it's Gleam. Okay. Is it Specs? Is there a chance of Specs? I wanted to break a Sash. Icy Wind. Hydro Pump! It's so much. Gleam, okay. What a play. I could have just... I guess yeah, I guess. I live, but that does a ton of damage. Okay. Well. Well, well, well. Um, I'm going to go for Bullet Punch here. And Hyper Voice. They definitely have uh, Dawn Fan in the back. Does this, does this even make... Yeah. I, I wish I thought about that more. That might that was maybe the wrong play. Because I think if one mod's likely to switch out, it's probably Screen Tail. I think it's probably Choice Specs, yeah. Okay, kill it and fine. We're probably trading one for one with the position going to them. I'm pretty sure that's in the flutters in or the iron bundles in um bullet punch range though. They miss! Nice dodge if you get for using Hydro Pump. Hyper Voice. Okay, I'm now up 4 to 2, but Sylveon's really low. Let's see what they have in the back. Probably Great Tusk and Murkrow, maybe? Mouse! Mice on Life? Great Tusk and Mouse Bolt. Okay. I don't have speed control. Could be focus dash, right? Just breaking of potential focus dash. Population bomb. It's offensive mice. Problem is I have Tyranitar on the back still, so let's think about this for a second. One thing that you can do as a when you're an experienced player is you can take this 45 seconds to think about the next couple turns because your opponent won't know what's coming in. So I'm gonna send this to Rapture to get the Intimidate on both, right? And that opens up a couple plays for me. I can Tyranitar is kind of worthless here, is the truth. So here I can go BP and Terra Flying Brave Bird. That's an option I have. Like Terra Flying Brave Bird and Bullet Punch is really strong here. They're both intimidated, right? I'm gonna go for it. Because this turns off close combat. I've intimidated them already. They're both intimidated. I don't even think that close combat will KO Scizor at this point, at this range. Okay, nice. Super good. A little bit of damage here, just in case it's Sash. I don't think it is. Be a lot of damage. And Choice Scarf Raptor picks up the KO here. And now I'm in very good shape. Draptor kind of pulled its weight here. It was really clutch in the end game. Nice. Okay. So I'm rank seven going into this. That was a rank 30 opponent. I'm going to guess I'm top three. I'm going to say it. I think I'm top three after that.
Okay, top three, probably two or three more. <sighs> okay. Two or three more and we'll do it. Char Shu Bao. Oh no, they have the they have the uh, forbidden combo. Oh, this is really bad. They have um Oh, this is really bad. This is really bad. Um They have Ferrigraph and Iron Hand. I like Titar a lot. It's a really good Pokemon. Um Scizor is actually pretty decent here, right? I would like I would like Armorers. I kind of want Armorers, but I think it's kind of bad here, right? Well, I can no, I can do Armorers. Scizor doesn't Scizor doesn't do anything. It's got to be Armorers, right? Armorers at least gives me another tool against the Moongus, right? Which is pretty valuable. Oh, they have Iron Hands and Furigraph. Like, Furigraph is just really difficult for my team because of, um, yeah. Like, Armor Tail is just really difficult. Oh, wow. Nice, nice profile. There's a couple of leads here that would be really difficult for me to handle. I'm not sure that leading Straptor actually helped me. I think I tunneled too much. Iron Hands. Okay, this is the lead that I wanted to see. Oh my god, double shiny. Just on a trick room team, it's really difficult to get. Okay, so I get the intimidate down, which is great. I'm gonna get a little damage in the Raptor, which is good. Um, I'm just gonna, I mean, a little damage on the Fragoraph here, which is good. I'm gonna U turn the Fragoraph and Hyper Voice. Problem is like none of my Pokemon really want to fight against Iron Hands, but it's, it's all right. This is probably fake out into Sylveon in Trick Room. I just don't take that much damage. This like just lets me. Oh, that's a lot more than I expected. Nice crit. Super clutch crit. Okay. Oh. Oh. Come on. No, not yet. <laughs> Okay, trick room, I presume. All right, I have to get through this trick room. The question is what's in the back. It's probably a Moongus, and there's probably one more, right? What's the last one? So here I have a choice. I can protect with both, which is kind of my instinct to stall trick room turn. I could also hyper voice and protect. But I think they're going to attack with... Like, I'm worried about Sylveon coming in, but if Sylveon, I mean, I mean, Amoongus coming in, but if Amoongus comes in, it's actually not that bad. I'm never going to close. Okay, nice. Um, I think it might be worth stacking Staraptor to, to, like, to keep my other Pokemon alive. Brain Punch. Brain Punch. Armor. Huh? What are they doing? Hyper Voicing? Clean. That's an interesting play. Um,. Like, I feel like Armor is my most valuable Pokemon here, but I... I can win the game with Armor later, so I go for Hyper Voice for sure. The question is, what am I doing with Armor? It's minus one. Like, it's not going for Hyper Voice either. I can probably just do this. Hyper Voice and Armor Cannon. Wild Charge. Okay. Okay, yeah, it's not so much damage. Like, it's, it's actually okay. It's, oh, I was like, Life Orb? No. Well, gleam. Okay, it's not so much damage. It's okay. The thing is that I'm not going to KO the Iron Hands here, but I'm going to do a lot of damage. I'm gonna, I also remove the priority blocking effect, which is really important. Do a lot of damage. I turn. I, I get rid of the Trick Room Setter, which is really big. Tons of damage. Oh, that's actually really interesting. If they wild charge again, they're gonna die. 
which is really good to know. Two turns of Trick Room left, but I'm doing pretty well, I would say. Oh, Arcanine the Arrogant. Arcanine the Arrogant. Interesting. Okay. Do I believe that... Um, Problem is my defense drop. I'll just Hyper Voice and Protect, I think. There's not really great counterplay to it. Okay, Wolfie, is this really alive? As far as I know. Because the thing is that they have... I could have switched into Staraptor, but I felt like it was better to do this. They actually switched out Arcanine. They had Amoongus. Amoongus the Opportunist. I love that. Attack from Karamaragura. Heavy Slam. Uh oh. I live. Nice. Okay. Gosh. Here's how I can still win this. I mean, listen. I have Tyranitar and I have Staraptor with Terra still available. Back. Should be in decent shape here. I actually want both my mons to go down. So I'm going to have to of that. Although I could save a mon, right? I could save somebody here if I wanted. Parking on the air again. Like, Armadura is not like Doom. T Torch Raptor should be able to win this. So I'm gonna go for Hyper Voice and Armor Cannon here. Let both my Pokemon go down. Bring in Tyranitar, get Raptor in. Go from there. I shouldn't die to this. It crit me. Okay, well, I wasn't gonna die to that if it hadn't crit me. I only used one Armor Cannon. Yeah, that's fine. I actually want both my monsters to go down here. Well, no, okay, actually, I wanted to kill the Amoongus, so that's what the move they were gonna make, but um, it's fine. Snarl, wait, that doesn't even kill me. Okay. I'll go T-Tar to pick up the Sylveon with, um, with Sand. Also, this is gonna be Beta Protecting the Arcanine. Go for another Hyper Voice, get some more damage down, gonna turn a Sand Chip in, go for Protect. I want Sylveon to go down here. I want you to hit me. I forgot the Gatera. That's my bad. Oh my god. I was almost really bad. Among Us. Water. So they have Pollen Puff. They have Spore. They have Rage Powder. I would love to know what the last one is, in all honesty. There are Water Among Us. Protect from Arcanine. That means I have a free Rock Slide into that slot. And a free Brave Burn. That's all I'm going to say. Protect from Tyranitar, which is great. They don't know about Goggles yet. Hyper Voice again for... The most low HP Sylveon has been able to Hyper Voice for three turns in a row. Goes to the Hyper Voice. Big damage coming out. War comes out. Blocked by turn to protect. And now I have a free switch into Staraptor. Who hasn't terrored yet. Who will get the Intimidate down. Protect Snarl by Flare Blitz Lewis. A little bit of chip damage to this Amoongus. Does it have a berry? Because that will change things for me. Does not have a berry. All damage is permanent. The Raptor comes in, and now I can make use of Terra Flying Braver. Terra Flying Braver Arcanine crunch into the Amoongus. I'm Scarf, so I'm guaranteed to have speed here. I, even, I would be really surprised if I lost here. They don't really have... Yeah, I'll be back into this. Raptor Rastalizes. This is offensive Raptor, not HP Raptor. Because even though I have Final Gambit, I figured I'd mostly be attacking. Okay, Brave Bird happens first. This Raptor yells three times in a row. Makes wants to make sure we've heard it. <laughs> KO's Arcanine, and that's going to be the game. Moongus goes down to Crunch. Okay, nice. We were rank three. We were rank three, and we won. Rank three with a victory. All right, let's see. 
Oh, good game, Andrew. Um, let's see. I don't think this is it. I think we're probably still going to be ranked three. That's my prediction. Let's see. So I back out. Ranked battles. Oh my god. Oh my god, we did it. I did not I I am not used to not having to suffer to get to rank 1. That was easy. That was easy. I can't believe that. I cannot believe that. We we got rank 1 with a wonder traded team. Not bad. Not bad at all. That's pretty cool. Oh no. Chad's popping. No, Nightbot, stop. Stop, Nightbot. I'm sorry for everyone who gets timed out for popping off. You want to gas up this tweet on Twitter? That was not so bad. Let's uh, let's make this team public. How about that? As so a thank you for uh for you all for Let me make sure that like everything here first. Sorry, give me one second. Let me just make sure that everything's that I like I'm not sharing. Oh yep, I almost did. Good. I can undo that. Okay. All right, there's the team, yeah, uh, you know. Not bad. That's pretty cool, right? That's pretty cool. You want to you want to do me a favor and gas up the tweet? I just posted the rental team on Twitter. Oh my god, another hundred dollars from It's Really Bright. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. That's super generous. But yeah, I mean, you don't have to use it, but hey, it's it's it got me this far, and I'll post like the full export in the sub Discord again. So I think the thing about this team is that it's not about. It's not about the fact that like the team was perfectly optimal because I was building it under such constraints. That's not the point of the team. The point of the team is that there's some strong ideas here, right? What do we learn from this? Armor Rouge is really strong with the Armor use policy and best of one. Tyranitar was really good as well. Sableye surprisingly also really good. Sylveon also a good mod. Um, Scissor was okay. Straptor wasn't like neither Scissor nor Straptor felt like they could come very often, but when they did come, they were pretty good. Now I have a favor to ask of you as, as I have a last resort. We have to wait for somebody to pass me, okay? What did X, what did I just press? What does X do? What did, what did the X button do? I'll post all the EV spreads in the, in the thing. Update status. So here's the thing, chat. Do you, are you all cool helping me, giving me some insurance? Are you all cool with that? Because here's the deal. I, there is a secret video that I'm working on that I was going to do tomorrow that we can just have some insurance. I think it'll be fine. We can have some insurance against it, okay? We can have some insurance for it, okay? Because this stream might not be over. So, I asked, I had, there is an AI that can recommend, that can build teams for you. It can tell you which Pokemon, which item, which Terra type, okay? So I want to make a video where I get to rank one in the world with a team that the AI built. Now I did, I filmed the in intro to this yesterday. Okay. I filmed the intro to it yesterday. It recommended like Iron Jugulus and a bunch of other standard mods. I'm going to probably stream it tomorrow and try and get rank one with, with this kind of AI built team. But as long as we're rank one now, what we could do is we could film, we could film, like wait for somebody to pass me, play at rank two. And that way, if we don't get to rank one, 
like tomorrow during the stream we can just do it tonight like just have to win one game when somebody passes me it's a little devious i don't normally do it for my challenges and i don't the team is good enough that i don't think that we'll need it in all honesty but it might be good to have just so we can still make the video even if uh even if something goes wrong you know it's just it's not chat gpt it's a special tool specifically for vgc and i have the team already built so it's just a little it's just a little insurance okay chat it's a little devious it's our little secrets between me and the six thousand of you it's just a little insurance you know what i mean we're already rank one what if this becomes like glaceon where it takes me like 40 hours to do let's just build a little insurance i'm very busy you know what i mean for the content right i think the team is good enough that we don't need to do it but just in case okay just in case and if i better change my shirts okay still number one i gotta change shirts okay oh thank you for joining the channel i think it was andrew yeah andrew thanks very much i don't think we're gonna need it it's just a little it's just a little insurance you know this is my job we gotta have we gotta have we gotta build a little insurance in you know what i mean okay chat this is it this is it we're rank two we are rank two this is the team. Pretend pretend that this is uh, like we've already done a bunch of games. Chat, we are so close. If we win this battle after all this time, I think we'll be rank one. We're rank two. Okay, we're playing a high ranked opponent. Oh, they have they got the double mens. Okay, I have Specs Bundle. I have Jugulus. Jugulus has been super good for us so far. They have Armor Rouge and Didi, though, and that's very scary. So I have Flutter Moon Sash. I'm basically worried. Oh, I have Snarl, though. Okay, I'm going to do one. I actually think this matchup is pretty decent. I'm going to do one, two. Who named the... I forgot that. Three with Queen's Gambit. And then I think... So Flutter Moon is really good here, but I think I like Iron Bundle. Because my thought process is basically I can Snarl and make it rain, do a ton of damage. And then go into... Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm gonna do it. Bacon and grits. Thanks very much for the one month. Um, hope you do another gym event. <clears throat> I, 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 I like doing in-person events. I'm, I definitely want to. Uh, I definitely want to do more of them. Jake, thank you for the dono. Okay, we are so close, chat. If we win here, we might have it. I think the matchup's in our favor, but the matchup isn't everything. Player makes a big deal. <laughs> Versus wide guard? Yeah. Wide guard might be difficult, but... um. Okay, let's see. What are they leading with? Is it Trick Room? Roaring Moon and Arm Rouge. Actually, a really clever lead because it kind of puts me in an awkward spot. We have the booster. Oh my god. Is it speed? What is it? Speed? Speed! I got one too. <laughs> I realize that this does not work. Uh, I, this may not work. Depending on how fast the Armor Rouge is, this could very much backfire. It depends on if Armor Rouge and Tailwind is faster than Iron Jugulus outside of Tailwind. Tailwind comes out. 
Who moves next? It has to be Jugulus or else we are screwed. Yes, okay. Please move next, Goldango. Okay, this should kill. It's doomed. It's weakness policy. That's so doomed. Oh my god. It's Omega Turbo Ultra doomed. That is really bad. Uh oh. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. It lived Life Orb Shadow Ball. I didn't even know that was possible. Okay, I wasted my Terra for no reason. Um, That sucks. That really sucks. Uh, Dang. Okay, how do I deal with this Roaring Moon now is the question. That's a rough turn one. We're still in this though. We're still in this. Don't don't be alarmed. Oh, I can't really deal with this moon anymore. Good night, Nicki Minaj. <laughs> God, I heard Nicki Minaj. Okay, we're gonna go for Snarl here and freeze dry. Or should we go for Icy Wind? I feel like Icy Wind might actually be stronger here. In which case, let's go for Air Slow. No, I need to go for Air Slow. Right? Like. Oh, this is really rough. This 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 moon is gonna cause me problems basically because it's faster than my than my um Douglas. Attack from Armor Rouge, okay. What's coming out in this spot? Brick break. I should live this, right? Hey, okay, bundle hangs on. Does this this should kill, right? Snarl comes out, big chip. The thing is, if my bundle goes down, I have a feeling I'm gonna have a bad time. This should kill. This should absolutely kill. Come on, bundle. Hey, if that hadn't killed, I was going to be in big trouble. But now, I think the advantage is back in my favor. Flutter. Okay. Okay, chat. So, I'm going to go Snarl. And I'm going to go Freeze Dry. And the question is, do I think that they have wide guard? So if they have wide guard, I want to make a different play, right? I'm out of time. I think they might have wide guard based on this. No wide guard. Get the special attack drop. That's permanent. I'm going to freeze them. I'm manifesting. I'm manifesting. I'm manic. I'm manifesting. Freeze. It's called freeze dry. Freeze. Don't thaw. Don't thaw. Don't thaw. Don't thaw. now oh that is the world champ difference i don't know what to tell you that's the world champ difference baby that is the world champ difference in action i don't know what to tell you honestly even without the freeze i think that i was probably winning this with king gambit but uh yeah happy to do it that way uh oh who does this Uh oh, flutter. Fire. <laughs> Fire frozen. That's funny. <laughs> I think they're doing this for the aesthetic. Wait, hey, what happened to the freeze animation? Where's the freeze? Why is it moving? It should be frozen. Wait, is it, did it thaw? Do they know something that I don't? Nope. I know everything. And I crit. Okay, chat. This is it. I think Iron Jugulus might might be rank one. <laughs> Iron Jugulus was actually okay. Iron Bundle was actually the, the clutch mon here, though. Freeze. Snarl. Freeze dry. Okay. Jugulus takes another kill. I think this could be rank one. I think this could be rank one.
That was quite the game to, to get rank one on too. <laughs> We're so close. We're so close. Come on. Show me the money. Come on. It's been it's it was hard. Come on. Please. Iron Jugulus rank one. And AI built this team and we're rank one with it. Come on. Back, 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 back. Yes. Yes. Okay, let's go. Rank one with a team built by an AI. That's pretty cool. That's really cool. Okay, and that's all we need for the video. Thanks, guys. <laughs> I don't think uh, this team is legit kind of heat, so I'm not sure we're going to need. Um, I'm not I'm not sure we're going to need that footage, but it's good to have. Also, that game was hyped. Thank you to my opponent. I appreciate you getting frozen. <laughs> All right, Jet, that's two videos we can make now. That's two videos we can make. They're going to be good. Trust. They're going to be good. Oh, yeah, I got to wear the shirt tomorrow. Thank you very much. And I'm not even up super late. Normally I'm up till 5 a.m. and then I get sad because I don't do it. But I actually got one legit, and we got uh we got we got the one for content. Y'all are homies. Appreciate it. Dude, the jugular jugulus was actually kind of heat. Not gonna lie. I think that'll be able to get it legitimately as well. But um, that's just nice to have, just in case. Because I don't have that much time before leaving for Orlando and then leaving for a wedding and then leaving for a wedding and then leaving for an Oxville. Live voice and reaction. Do I get money for staying quiet? No, but you'll, I'll consider you a homie. Anyway, I should get ready for bed. I'm a little wired now, so I don't want to... Like, now I actually have the opportunity to not ruin my sleep schedule. So, um, yeah, I'm going to I'm gonna call it here. But thanks for being cool. Thanks for watching. Um, I'll be back sometime, in, like, probably tomorrow to wrap up the... Um, to actually do the footage for the other one um for the for the ai team and hopefully get rank one legitimately <laughs> um yeah but anyway thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed the stream and um